Say that shit again. What'd you just say? I have no idea what I said, but... <laughs> what she should have said? I can't repeat it. Uh, five for nine. <laughs> you said the, the, oh. the dicks is still working. Niggas, dicks is still working. <laughs> <laughs> you know your dick can work, but you're sparking. Yo, that's just like... That's just a wild thing to just throw out in the conversation. Yo, Yo niggas, dicks is still working. <laughs> like, whoa. Like, like, it's like... That's I know a what great you mean, punk, though. but like to just throw that on the table during like a debate, <laughs> well, that's kind of wild. Like, I'm talking about Robert about, De Niro. Like, I'm trying to talk about science. <laughs> like, nah, that shit works. That's almost like she had the big joke of like, I just think it's still working. Like, all right. <laughs> like, no, worry, and mom. Yo, so I, I ain't gonna lie, man. We we gotta start. Let's we gotta dedicate because men don't get flowers. We don't get yeah. flowers enough. And I saw a video where a guy was walking up. He's walking up to just men in like a store and just handing them roses. <laughs> so you know, mm. automatically one guy was just looking at him like. What is that? He That's like, what justice made black do for his rollout. Yeah. So at red lights. I, no, he wasn't just giving out to men, though, was he? he was giving <laughs> I have out no to, idea. Yeah, no, he probably was giving out to women. But men, we need our flowers. There's some things that you and I talked about uh, and that Julian talked about that just have come to fruition. You wouldn't let me give you actual flowers, though. But I would. You're saying like actual for, like what kind of flowers? What kind of like floral arrangement would you give me? Just some like some peonies in there. I mean, peonies, peonies? You, you give me daisy vibes. Yeah, whatever it's called, peonies. What are they called? Daisies would look good against peonies. Your skin. <laughs> daisies, yeah. So you would give me like daisies and no, I might just look, go straight straight daisies. Just a whole, not, not arrangement, yeah. Just daisies. I would cover your entire house with them. No the baby's daisies. breath. No nothing to like mix it up. Baby's, baby's breath? breath. Yeah, to add into the yeah. arrangement. That's like the little white like. Little white things in the floral arrangement. Dead well, how did that term come to be? That baby's breath would be yeah, it's about flower weird. food. No, flower food. It's no, like not. You all right? You get a when you get a bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. Bouquet. They, a bo bouquet. Bouquet. You can tell she's from upstate. It's okay. Right. That's just the, you know that's how they say. That's things. how Benny says it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Every time Benny raps Damn, about bouquets of flowers, I didn't, <laughs> see, I didn't do it this time. I didn't do it this time. Yeah. The bouquets. Um, all right. Well, baby's breath, the stuff that's in flowers. Weird. Yeah. I want to know who came up with that term. I'm sure there's some the whites disgusting sure. history. In Probably that has a Greek the Greek origin. Yeah. <laughs> Why a Greek origin? You know, everything has a Greek uh, origin. Greek flowers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yes, I do think we need uh need more flowers, and I like real flowers, and I have no problem giving a man flowers if that's what. He wants. Well, I mean, and, you know, in terms of giving us a flowers, we just got to start just acknowledging when we talk about things and then they later come into fruition because mm. we sat, we sit on here, we talk a lot, obviously, about things going on. And sometimes we say things and it's like, nah, that will, that's crazy. That will mm. never happen. Lo and behold, it's all happening. We talk about it all the time. This is a simulation. None of this is real. Mm. So do you think maybe you control the simulation because you, uh, you did predict this Kanye West and Adidas agreement if you will and i called you fucking crazy mm -hmm. i still don't think kanye west will be designing any new yeezys for adidas but adidas has announced that they will resume selling unsold yeezys so i think they're just trying to clear the warehouse out i don't know if this is going to be a complete uh rebrand of yeezy and kanye is coming in to create you know boost 779 i think this is the start of it i think this is how this is like a soft reintroduction okay they just make it seem like we're just going to get rid of the, the stock that we already have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, they'll spend the rest of the year uh, trying to come to terms on certain things, come to agreement on certain things, and then we'll see a picture of a new Yeezy Adidas sneaker just hit the internet and everybody will go crazy, and then everybody will forget what just happened a year from now. Uh, what if this is also an Adidas spite tactic? What in, if their, they, in their sales? What if they resell... I'm sorry, not resell. They sell the unsold Yeezys, but at a way more discounted rate and put a low price on the Yeezy brand. Mm. That does affect Kanye and it does dilute his brand to some degree. True. If, I think if you can go buy Yeezys for 40 bucks and they're just really trying to like break even and get them out, they can do that plus dilute someone that has spoken bad about them. But see, here, this, this is just where my brain goes on this. It says Ye Adidas have agreed to resume selling unsold Yeezy stock, right? Mm -hmm. Right. How do we know what is already in the stock? Well, they could be actively designing new pieces right now and they'll just say, oh, no, this was already in the stock. Well, also, is this stock as far as sneakers or is this also stock within? Was there Yeezy stock it's, in Adidas stock? It's Yeezy stock. So meaning there's Yeezy apparel, sneakers, Yeezy, Yeezy hoodies, yeah. you know, all of that. 
It's just anything with Yeezy on it, the Yeezy brand, anything that was unsold that is already in stock. Okay. They have agreed to resume selling. So that's what I'm saying. We don't know if this is stuff that was already designed and just sitting there or if this is like just a cover to be like, we're going to resume selling stock that is here. Mm. But this is like basically like Kanye is back designing and getting ready to release new pieces. They're sitting on $1.3 billion <laughs> worth of uh, crazy. easy product. Yeah. And they said the... And people thought I was crazy for saying they're going to sell mm. it. Adidas <laughs> plans on donating the money they make from the profits. Well, yeah, speaking... Sure. Donated, right? Speaking of stock, is this almost like some legal insider trading where the stock of Adidas will go up the moment they just try to get rid of all this shit? Because it may just boost sales for the month. Mm -hmm. And it could be a time... I'm too pussy to day trade. It's gonna, so emotional, but it's going to boost sales thing. for the rest of the year. This mm -hmm. is Adidas couldn't go the entire year losing the money that they've been losing. And to me, that's why it was common sense when I said that they're going to rekindle this relationship and uh, get back to business because they're not going to sit by and just watch their stock fall. They're not going to sit by and, and just lose the money that they was losing. It is what it is. Kanye Yeezy, the Yeezy brand is a major part of the culture. And it's been proven that once he attaches himself or aligns himself with any company, it's an automatic win and it's, it's, you know, it's lucrative for all parties involved. So and, and we know that, you know, OK, yeah, he said things and he, he, he insulted people and he offended people, he hurt people. We know that. But just like anything else that we've seen in this culture, in this simulation that we're living in, Rory, people have a very short attention span. People move past things very quickly. Time heals all and money. Well, no. Well, RZA, cash rules everything around me. Hey, RZA. The Wu-Tang. They, they told us this years ago. So it is what it is. They what wasn't going to sit back and just keep losing money. When uh, What month was it that he said Hitler was like a model citizen? Uh, right before Christmas, I believe. <laughs> uh, December 1st. On the first day of Hanukkah. Yeah. Jesus. His December true love 1st. gave to him. Yeah, it was uh, early December. I believe yeah. he was spinning a dreidel on Alex Jones' desk. <laughs> exactly. At the time. Yeah. Um, what timing? What, when was it, Julian? I'm sorry. Early December. That's fucking crazy that six months can pass and you say something like that and one of the biggest apparel companies ever will be like, eh, been enough time. Yeah. That's, but, that's nuts. Because, because of the fact- Bud Light might, they might be all right. They just have to- They're not going to pass. They're, they're not going to sit back and just continue to lose that much money. No mm. company is going to do that. Say they sell it and it sells at a good rate. It will. It's just hypothetically, it does. Instead of them, I think the vision right now is for them to see like, okay, let's see how it sells and then we'll decide what to go from there. But say like it sells and it sells quick, would they consider doing something with him or just, do you think this is the end of the relationship? Julian, they're doing something with him right now. This doesn't count. They need space in their warehouses. This does count. They're sitting on a billion, if they one, were that they're offended, sitting on an over billion dollar profit right. loss. If, but if they were that offended, which a lot of people were very offended and very hurt they by would just not sell anymore. They wouldn't even it's, care about putting, selling the rest of that stuff. It's the money mall. They don't, they I don't just care. told you that. It's money. <laughs> like, that no, but I'm saying like the they're, they're in it to at least break even and to create more space for other products to be developed. Julian, they're going to move the rest of the product that's in stock. Yes. And I guarantee you that Kanye will design new pieces this time next year. There will be a new Yeezy sneaker that will hit stores. Okay, but do you think Kanye would want to go work with Adidas? Yeah. You think he would go back? Absolutely. He just bought an office across the street to say, fuck y'all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that is I hilarious. think he put on the front of it, yo, fuck y'all, across uh, the street. Yo, fuck yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> he got his spite store. Yeah, but that, but, but to me, now, if I'm, if I'm Kanye. Joe, Joe. Yeah. yeah. No, if, if I'm Kanye, I don't do it. I agree with you. I don't. But do I think Ye will do it? I do think he Wait, will. Wait, if you're Kanye, why won't you do it? Because sometimes you have to show people, like, Kanye can go anywhere. At this point, he can align himself with any, you know, any major brand on the planet and he's going to bring an entire culture and an entire audience there. He's a, it's just been proven. He went to the Gap and his stocks went through the roof. You know what I mean? Nobody was wearing Gap. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, but that was before a whole backlash. Yeah, but, but, Fair, but, but, but what I'm trying to show you is, yes, he says some things that, you know, offended and hurt people around the world. But. As we've seen before, time heals. Like people move on, they forget about things. They, we've seen, we've seen people support people that have done some of the craziest shit, shit ever. Like Trump. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like it doesn't. Time heals. Oh, people move on tomorrow to be the next big news, and then people be on that. Like people don't even talk about Kyrie no more. Right. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Nike, could, like, they move, removed him from, like, their roster. They don't not even make it anymore, his sneakers. Still haven't even seen that movie. <laughs> and all he did was just post a fucking cover of a documentary on his social media account. But, but And why he can't do that, too, is he wanted to work with Nike so bad, he said his entire life that's, that was one of his main goals ever. He did. Did the Red October shit, did right. the other mm-hmm. Yeezy, like, he was a staple at Nike for exclusive drops. He wanted to do full time with them. They was like, nah, we good. Right. He went to Adidas and clearly proved to Nike how much he was worth and how much he can change an already solidified brand. Mm-hmm. Right? So then he goes to Gap, and I'm not saying Kanye is the best businessman on earth or has the easiest requests or the easiest to deal with, but he goes to Gap and says, I wanna be on the board. They say no. He puts out those hoodies and all that shit triples Gap's fucking yeah. stock. Mm-hmm. So he has proven, even though you can say what you want about his comments and how much that can like plummet a stock, but he has proved 99% of the time, anytime he shows up to a brand, he brings value that no other person can from this culture. Right. And that's what it's, that's the so bottom fuck line. y'all Adidas, even though I get why Adidas would drop someone that would go on he should go back a to Nike. fucking Alex Jones show and be like, yo, I like Hitler. I get why Adidas did it, but he should not go back to Adidas. He should, he should go back to Nike. Nike. Nike's even more politically correct. He could never go. Nike would never have him. I don't know, man. I, I don't think Cash rules. I also thought like- they just, all, they just took out Kyrie. Yeah, but- Kyrie wasn't off selling. of a post like just Kyrie like wasn't said. selling the sneakers that mm, Kanye was Kyrie sure. had the highest selling basketball shoe for a while. That Kyrie five was killing it. Yeah, you talking about basketball? Oh you, yeah, you I'm saying for the, the ba- I'm talking about yeah. culture, life. Yeah, Nobody is doing what Kanye is doing, and that's always that's changed a lot too. Like at one point, Kyrie, not Kyrie, I'm sorry, Steph's Under Armour shoe was the number one selling shoe in basketball, and I was like, kids are buying Under Armour shoes. No one wears that. So. Shoe. It does. You said nobody that. wears that. It's a Under Armour shoe. Yeah, he had at one point. Kids Steph do. had Steph had the number one shoe for like three or four years consecutively yes. in the NBA. Kids do uh, exceptionally. See, so you know what it is, Julian. You thinking about just like Lifestyle. the major cities that you walk yeah. around in New York, LA. Yeah. There's a whole where the election is won, right? <laughs> that whole Middle America. Kids wear Under Armour for sure, absolutely, and and the the. The time of the basketball shoe that's also a lifestyle shoe is dead. Like, Braun gave it his best go. I, I commend him, but he made more of a basketball shoe. People tried it with for terrible sure. cargo shorts and white V-necks no, for no, one no. summer. You guys all look nuts. Mm-hmm. KD had a little bit too where there was like, mm, some people wear them as lifestyle, but that doesn't happen in sports anymore. No. No. Like, Shaqs were more lifestyle than anything that irrelevant players put out lately. Which is why to, to that, you know, I always go, I go, I go back to the fact why we shouldn't even argue, like how you said, a lot of these athletes can't even sell sneakers because nobody's wearing them for lifestyle. Yeah. The sneaker that they're wearing is the Jordan still Jordans, yeah. to this day. And I mean, even Iverson's, especially the questions that made a huge comeback. Mm-hmm. Um, I still people still see people wearing Ken Griffey's. I know, of course, that was that was more lifestyle because you didn't. Yo, whenever a girl wore some Ken Griffey's to come oh, see yeah, you, yeah. you for sure was hitting. And she and she matched the green the to her Griffey, belt. Yeah, the Griffey's with the jean shorts. Ooh, <laughs> you for sure was getting some that night. If she had a if she had a black belt on with uh, blue jean shorts, yeah, firehead. She probably cut you, but firehead. What's yeah. wrong with y'all? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want to keep an eye on um. The whole Adidas thing because Jerry Lorenzo, he had a show a couple weeks ago, his new fair guideline dropping, and he has some oh, yeah. some super Great. dope sneakers that he's great to put out through Adidas. Um, and we all know that Kanye and Jerry are, are very close. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that dynamic, with Adidas bringing Jerry over there from Nike, mm. and now Jerry having all of these new designs that the internet has been going crazy for since the show happened. Now, what happens with them now re-releasing all of the stock that they have with Yeezy already and then moving forward. My guess for Adidas was going to wait maybe five years and go the route with Yeezy that Nike ended up going with Jordan. Like, no one cares about Team Jordans. Every now and then they'll put a new one out, but that's not the Jordan brand. Mm -hmm. It's re-releasing at certain times the one classic ones we love. Yeah. I could see them doing with that with Boost because they're sitting on all this product. Let's make it more sneakerheadish and exclusive everyone's Yeezys would be dirty by then. Let's make this just sneaker culture rather than the mass production we were doing before. Mm-hmm. That's what I assume they would do with all that product, but six months later, Jesus Christ. That's they, why that, they definitely just selling that shit. 
That's why that movie Air was so interesting because it goes literally to the beginning of an entire cultural shift mm. in uh, sports, in culture, in lifestyle, in footwear. Um, to see where it is now, where you have uh, people like Tiana Taylor designing her own shoe for Nike, uh, Travis Scott, and everything that he's been doing with with, with Jordan, um, even what Push did with Adidas. Uh, obviously Kanye, Jerry Lorenzo, um, all of these now people from the culture that aren't athletes, but they're selling more sneakers and more. Sh- I think Travis Scott has probably sold more sneakers than any athlete in the oh, last, sure. I don't know how many years. So just things like just showing that the culture, how much the culture dictates, you know, lifestyle and dictates what these major brands and corporations are able to do. It's just so crazy to see it. It really just, the shift happened, honestly, from one player being Michael Jordan and what he was able to do and how he created a sneaker and wore a sneaker that then became a lifestyle. But they they only trusted basketball players with that, which is why it's so funny that we've seen the shift where basketball players are not out selling Yeezys. Mm -hmm. But Pharrell was even talking about that with the Louis Vuitton shit. Like, yeah, I used to design for Bape like one shoe. Mm -hmm. No one would ever let me mass produce a bunch of stuff. Like with so many artists, it was always cool when they got a shoe, but same way what Nike did to Kanye. Like you're not about to be a designer. Right. We're going to use your cultural collateral just to get oh, so to look cool for a little, a little bit. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to go to the athletes because they can mass produce shit. And then you saw LeBron fucking kind of tank on his shoes after the first five years. Mm-hmm. And Kanye's Red Octobers are $1,500. Like, right. It's just drastically changed. And I still think they need to do that more with artists. Like Tiana Taylor doing a one-off to design, I think is great. Mm -hmm. They'll maybe make 1,500 pairs Mm -hmm. and they'll put it out for that month. And that's just to look cool and be next to Tiana Taylor to make that brand look cool. They need to let Tiana do what Kanye did with Adidas. We are going to mass produce these. They're actually going to be affordable to people in your community. Mm -hmm. And we're going to continue to do this every season. We're going to make think, it a thing. It's not going to be this one-off, like, here's my Pharrell sneaker that you 10 people will get. <laughs> I think about it all the time about exactly how Hype similar it. how similar uh, Tiana is in a lot of ways to Kanye. As far as her artistry, mm. uh, her attention to detail, fashion. She just has a, a certain thing about her. I think that anything that Tiana... Uh, like she attaches herself to, she brings a certain quality. She brings a certain thing to it, which is what Kanye did early on in his, the Louis collabs and Nike collabs was that he brought something different. Um, and Tiana to me is on that. She's, she's, she's obviously she was signed to Kanye and she spent time around him and she obviously picked up on a lot of things, but she's in a, she's in a space now where I think in the next three to four years, we're going to see a major a collaboration with Tiana and a brand mm. to where she's going to do some amazing things just on the, the the fashion the fashion side of things because she's already you know m- made relationships throughout the industry throughout the the world with different people and I think that she's lining herself up to do a lot of major things in the culture the way Kanye did known anti semite too big one as far as <laughs> well comparison. not you that know, not that part you know what I think is is ironic with Tiana like why she isn't where I think she should be design wise is she's too good at everything. Like Mm. if Tiana just decided like, Hey, for the next five years, I'm just focusing on fashion. Mm -hmm. Like that's going to be my life. Then I think she would get what she deserves in that world. Like she can only give so much time to fashion stuff. She makes amazing music. Mm -hmm. She does tours, choreography. She does that for other artists. Like, yeah, she's so good at so much stuff. She can only spread herself so thin to focus on something. Whereas if she wants to be in the fashion world, probably only have time to do a one-off. Mm-hmm. I would love to see her just lock in, even if it is with another brand, like the way maybe Pharrell is going to do with Louis Vuitton, and just be like, yo, five years, this is what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Fans, you'll get music later. Like, everyone, just to let y'all know, right. <laughs> I'm doing this for the next five years. Well, I do uh, thank you guys for the flowers because I did tell y'all that Welcome. Kanye Big and Adidas days. will be back. Enjoy. Yeah, just just a couple days. It's nothing, nothing crazy. I don't, you know, I don't need this uh, You have just been showered with flowers over the oh, past man. few days. I, then Donnie had a town hall. You were going nuts. Man, I mean, you know, 
I just don't understand how people, again, you know, uh, I know politics, we, we joke around a lot, Rory. I'm not really into politics. I could care less. But yeah. I just find this shit to be some of the most entertaining shit ever. Like, Donald Trump is by far the, the most, I don't even know what to call him, po- politician, president, former president that we've ever had. Mm. I think that he is actually making people want to pay attention to politics. Uh, I don't think you have a choice when he's in the streets. That's a great mm-hmm. point. Yeah, like, you don't have I'm not saying, like, he, for- he doesn't force people. We just don't have a fucking choice. Nope. It's... yeah. And the media loves it too. It's it's even oh past the uh, the comparison of like you know the watching the car accident like everyone stops their car yeah. to look at it. it yeah. Like this is like watching Hiroshima. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you like, don't. Like we have cancer and we're still wait. looking. Um, this is just I don't even know where to begin. We've talked about for a couple months that the circus was going to begin soon. Biden also said that he is going to run. Oh my god! And his oh, campaign shit. is about to start. Oh god! Um, what time does he take a nap? <laughs> <laughs> all the he's on the Mark Wahlberg schedule, but he doesn't wake up. Yeah, no, he never wakes up. <laughs> well, Donald Trump was um first and foremost, he was found guilty of um sexual misconduct. Sexual sexual misconduct. Uh he's been ordered to pay five million dollars in damages to E. Jean Carroll for sexual assault and defamation. Damn. Um He's over two. Yeah. He is over two. Lawyers aren't getting it done. Stormy got a all bag. Right. Maul. Stormy Daniels, yeah. It seems like, well, they, they took care of the ladies first, so, you know. Maul, I'm, I'm going to look at it this way. With took care all, of the ladies. Th- th- I mean, as far as their, their, their lawsuits. His rap sheet right here, right? You can make the case that he was attacked. They, they went after him. All politicians probably do everything that's on this list. I'm fine with that take, but I couldn't get a fucking job at McDonald's if this was on my rap sheet. Oh, for sure. He should not be able to be the president of the United fucking States. Like I mean, they, I know in the real world, point? every president has probably participated in, in one of these counts, if mm-hmm. not all. Mm-hmm. But to be convicted of them and we're all supposed to live and die by the U.S. justice system and the Constitution, and all that. There's no way in we the people, <laughs> it should say yeah. our president yeah. can get... <laughs> Absolutely. Arrested for this shit and still be president. <laughs> The, you know, Imagine walking yeah. into McDonald's That's with this af- when they do a background check. Are you getting a callback with wire fraud? No, you're about. getting arrested. Let's say yeah. you're even one of the best fried cookers ever. You you could negotiate with Russia how to get the potatoes to McDonald's faster. They're not hiring you if you have this. No, they're not. And Good. this and this is what makes this an absolute fucking movie is because at some point you sit back and you be like, this can't, this can't really be real. Like we can't really be watching this. Like this can't really be our oh, our. But we are. Yeah, but it is be. our reality, and like that's the it's our problem. Biggest reality. Like yeah. this is. Yeah, but now. but but is it a but but listen, it's a problem. If they vote for him and, and he's reelected, that's what this is. What the country wants. It's not what the country wants. It's what's also, if they reelect him? What are you talking about? People went out and voted for him. Uh, no, <laughs> citizens of America went out and voted. To, to Rory's point, I can see every politician ever getting away with tax evasion, loan fraud, wire fraud. All that stuff is like normal. I'm like, I think I'm above everyone government type shit. It's the sexual assault and like those things, which I guess they do that too. But it's like, these are things he's literally been found guilty of. These are on his jacket now. Mm-hmm. And he's still prepping to run like in this. They just don't run and care. win. I still think he's going to win. He's absolutely going to win. Wait, let me clarify. Mo, we couldn't do a podcast if we were arrested for sexual assault. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah. well, podcasts and politics are different things. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, just to clarify for our listeners, has he been convicted of the what it says up next or those are things he's been charged of? He's been charged with those and is, has to go to trial. For yes, the I, was, list I, was, that. I just wanted to make Ab- sure that that was is, clear. Yes, he has been yeah. convicted of uh, sexual assault and defamation hefty lives now this is not a trump defense by any means but the fact that the federal government is accusing a president of racketeering loan fraud and tax evasion <laughs> is fucking hilarious <laughs> how do we reverse suit yeah this is how do we get the how do we get the whole the federal government and the united states on a racketeering charge how do we get them on loan fraud it's like you said rory pretty they're pr- much they're printing the money pretty much every president it's probably our capitalism is loan fraud, tax evasion and shit like that at one point. Like that's that's now Donald Trump has other shit that's now on his jacket. Like Julian said, that's just absolutely just like, well, the government, piece of shit. 
borrows money from itself and then makes us pay the debt. Yeah. Y'all got to do a loan and, fraud and, case. And just me. keep sending $1.5 billion to Ukraine for, mm. you know, whatever they need over there at the, at the moment. And so. the SBA loan people won't stop calling me every day. Didn't we just, wasn't, didn't they just tell us we're running out of money? Money does not exist. Like, well, yeah. that's what they, they said last week. They said the U.S. is running out of money. And then the, the next week they said uh, they just, uh, they just sent, they're about to send another $1.8 billion to Ukraine. So yeah. I'm like, okay, so which one is it? Inflation, inflation is going up and salaries are going down. And the value of the dollar, which didn't exist already to what it's worth in actual gold, how it started, is nowhere even near what it was. He had, uh, Donald Trump had his uh, Republican uh, uh, candidate town hall the other night as well. Um, Vermont, New Hampshire? Where was that? New Hampshire, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. They, went, they went really liberal. New Hampshire, CNN, woman on stage. You know, they're trying to... <laughs> A until, nasty until, woman. Until she was called a nasty person. I, I, see, but yeah. that's, nasty I know Hanley yeah. was but, fucking uh, shaking. But see, but see, Julian, that's the, <laughs> how can my ex do this? That's the that's the games that that's the game CNN plays. They know what Donald Trump has just faced in court and what he's up against, and then they throw a female re- interview uh, re- or reporter in, and they know that because look at this, you are a nasty person. They was waiting for something like that to happen. Of course, no. Th- this is the result of CNN tanking. They're doing awful. Oh, no, I understand that. So, but I'm just saying these are, these are some of the games because if this was a, a male reporter and Donald Trump told him you're a nasty person, that wouldn't be headline. I don't think that would be headline right now. It wouldn't, hurt, it wouldn't sting as much. This is what I'm saying. So these are the things that they put into play because they know there's a back and forth that's going to happen. They know how he already looks being found guilty of these charges in court. And they know he doesn't respect women. So, yes, we're going to put a woman up there so that we can get a sound. You understand? So yes. these are the things that they... These Some are the things that they... <laughs> yeah, like these are the things that they put into play. And it's like... You knew I was going to assault But they're... Well, we're not going to blame the CNN producers for being good at their job because he can't respect women. Why does women. he stand like that? Yeah, this was just awkward that they started sending at this point. I think CNN desperately wants Donald Trump to win the election. And I think even putting him up on this stage was not only just to get numbers because they're tanking. And we know Trump, no matter what, will bring numbers because you can't miss it. Right. But I think they also are putting Trump even more forward facing because they want him to win. When Biden was elected, Fox News's numbers for the past four years have been so fucking high because the people that did not want Biden in are so terrified and angry. Mm -hmm. They want to watch someone just as terrified and angry as them all day on the fucking news complain about Joe Biden. And if you remember when Trump was in office, CNN and Donald, they was going nuts. Mm -hmm. Daily Show was, was crazy. Every liberal station was doing so good when Trump was in office because everyone that hated Trump couldn't wait to go home and watch the news and feel better about hating Trump because they're watching a news program that says they're right. So with this, with this next election coming up, um, if the Republican candidate is Donald Trump and the Democratic candidate is Joe Biden, hmm. who do you vote for? I, I do not vote and I understand I'm part of the problem. You guys will not shame me into that. Sorry. Silence is violence, Rory. So it's another no vote year for you, Julian? I'm going to vote. Biden? Hell yeah. Fuck Trump. But you don't even like Biden. Not a fan, but I know the lesser of two evils. The lesser of two evils. I mean, that's really what's come down to. Common sense to me. So you don't think that just that system in general is, should probably be changed? I think. Uh, because, well, <laughs> no, the system's not listen, great. I wasn't a big Biden fan even before like he got full blown Alzheimer's in the middle of this uh, in the middle of his term. Yeah, I wasn't a big Biden fan, but I voted for Joe Biden mm-hmm. because I was on the lesser of two evil shit. Mm-hmm. I didn't vote in the Trump Hillary uh, shit because you hate women. That, number one. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, is that what it was? It's brawls. Can you tell me what to do? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Make my shoes. It's a lot um, of things America's ready but, for. Female but, president, America, this country isn't ready But for. then I felt bad because when I, I didn't vote in the Hillary Trump election and Trump got elected, I started to believe the, maybe I am part of the problem and he got elected even though like, I talk, electoral college, I can't speak, electoral college and population vote are different. I still felt like, damn, it's fucked up. So when Biden came around, I was like, I don't like this guy, but I can't do another four with Trump. So let me go lesser of two evils. Now at this point, I'm back to my original thought of if I don't like either of these people, fuck that. I'm not voting. I'm I'm with you on that. Uh, that, That's how I was for the last uh, election. 
I was just like, I'm not voting for you. It, it's yeah. it's Kamala's fault at the end of the day. I think everyone in the Democratic Party fully understood that Joe Biden was in his oatmeal phase and he was just <laughs> his like, oatmeal we were phase just, is hilarious. It was just a matter of time. Yeah. Like, let's prop him up, give him some low dose Adderall to at least open his eyes <laughs> and like maybe we'll get this moving and we will make tell him it's pudding day yeah we pudding will make day. Kamala the star yeah. like no one likes that her. was their plan yeah boy did that fucking backfire <laughs> yeah. so now <laughs> they're, they're knocking on Joe's door at 4 p.m. right before you know it's time to go to bed and like Joe <laughs> you gotta announce <laughs> you, you gotta run Hey, hey, look how y'all doing them. Okay, <laughs> that's sick. Yeah, it, it, this right. does this does speak volumes to how little the Democrats have in terms of assets. Like for the next up, mm. no one likes Kamala, so she's not. If Joe wins again, she's not going to be the person that they champion to go in twenty twenty eight. No, no one wants to rally behind her. So the Democrats have they have best case scenario. Biden wins. They have four years to figure out who the fuck can they prop up and make look like the person they've all been waiting for. I, they have nobody right now. I still, I mean, I know that he's he said that he never will and that he's not even thinking about it. But I still think The Rock is going to be president. <laughs> There's I do. Uh, that'd be insane, but I somehow believe that. I could see, bro. You, I could see Donald it. Trump. But would he run Democrat or would he do like a libertarian kind of vote? I, if I'm him, if I'm the That's Rock, I'm, speaking, I'm steering clear of the major parties. If he does but you're not going to win if you don't run a major party. That's yeah. The Rock though. Yeah, the Rock the Rock, is win. no, the Rock will not win. Box off and smash. No way, bro. Donald smash. Trump became the president. Anything is possible. Donald Trump's a television star. I, Even it, though it, no, Donald funny. Trump is a is a television star, Donald Trump is still an <laughs> old white man. That that it's yeah, but the Rock, the Rock is yeah, but the Rock is going to have more people that probably never voted before is going to come out and vote for the Rock. Look at the TikTok voters. Kanye Donald, thought that too. Donald Trump being That's president different. was fucking nuts, but you can see. In retrospect, his ties to politics already, to just the Illuminati worlds, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger being the governor of California to me is way fucking crazier than oh, yeah. but, than Donald Trump being the president. Of the United what about Ronald Reagan? And like, that's where The Rock should draw his like inspiration from. Just be a governor, like be governor first. Well, you have no, to. No, like kinda, you right? should just ask Arnold how the fuck you did that. The people's governor. And you don't have to be governor. Donald Trump was Donald governor. Well, okay, no let's stop talking about Donald Trump. He just showed up one day and was like, I'm running. Will, Which, by the way, I think you should. So let's go back to the McDonald's shit. Like, I'm not going to be the manager until I do the fries. Yeah. I don't, look, I think, I think... You got to have some political experience. This, country, here, this country's beyond Trump. That doesn't matter anymore. Trump set the precedence. You don't have to have political experience to do politics. At all. Exactly. This is what I'm oh, trying no, to tell no. you. Like, he changed I agree with you. You should, but you don't. Oh, no. I know that's changed drastically. And I even understand some of the crazy people that are like, we just don't want more of the same. We want someone that's not a career politician. And that sounds really good at the top of the paper. <laughs> Read the rest of the paper. Like, maybe he just doesn't know what to do. And everyone maybe in Congress does not like him and there is no relationship. So nothing will actually get done. Mm. Well, did we had a, uh, I don't know which one. I think Julian called this one. Yup. You called Tucker Carlson, uh, flowers. taking his talents and taking flowers? his audience to social media and to Twitter. And, uh, he announced that he is going to be doing his show mm -hmm. on Twitter. Yep. The video he put out to announce it has over 25 and a half million views. Uh, I mean, this will that give him a bigger reach than any major network could. And I thought he was going to YouTube. I'm going to be honest. And Elon, like I said, and will he's, prop he's, him up and champion someone like Tucker. He's critiqued Elon as well, too. So I thought that was kind of interesting. But I legit, wonder what Jack Dorsey feels about this. Uh, he should, listen, this may be Ho's fault at the end of the day. Wait, what? Because he was on the back of a boat with Jack. And then next thing I knew, title was with Twitter and then Twitter was sold. <laughs> <laughs> and now Tucker Carlson and Elon are the face yeah. of one of the bigger social networks in the world. I, I, so Julian, salute to you because you did call this. Thank you. But I, I thought I, I really honestly thought that Tucker was just going to YouTube straight well, to YouTube. A legit narrative is that he will make a presidential run after this four years. Now that's sick. And the fact that that was a legit narrative from people, not like just some gossipy blog, like. Legit news, which that's, is gossip blog, but even other politicians saying Tucker should run. All we know is this gentleman can read a teleprompter really fucking well, and we said he should run the country. Yeah, <laughs> like we spoke. Uh, we're not we, good here. What we yeah. spoke about this the other day. Tucker been getting some shit off though. I agree. He's been he's been he's been speaking on some things, and 
He looked like he's about to go rogue. He looked like he got a peek behind the Wizard of Oz curtain. What? And he about to start talking about a lot of shit he know and a lot of shit he saw. And I don't know if he want to go down that road. Because you know what? You know they send the ninjas at you. Oh, for sure. Once you go down that road. But I mean, Tucker is, is very much how I thought about Trump. In theory, this is really good. He's not a politician. He has his own money. Um, he doesn't care about the system. He'll, he'll actually do things differently than the political way. Tucker has an opportunity now in the news as well. It just so happens both of these people are pieces of shit and I wish we had someone that wasn't in this position. Because I think Tucker can really fuck some shit up. I, I, I like I that he's they... already started on his conspiracy theories the week out the gate yeah. about 9-11, all that shit. I think that we need someone like this with the power Tucker has. But I already know Tucker is not a good human being. So him having that power terrifies me. Same way it did with Trump. I'm not going to lie, Rory. The more I think about this, though, I feel like this is all part of a plan. Oh, I mean. I think him being fired, uh, him now being on social media, where most people get their news anyway. Right before election year? I think oh, this is all tied into Ooh. something. This is all. None of this is by accident. This I, is all. Put my hat this on. is this is they're running a play here. This is a play. I Ben said that I thought with with Fox getting sued, we get Tucker's salary out because we already owe a billion dollars. Mm. He now doesn't have to testify in court ag against us. Like he won't get subpoenas because mm -hmm. he's now fired. Um, Fox has to kind of go in a different direction because the Republican Party starting to split between the radical conspiracy theory ones and the traditional don't ever kill a baby, gays better not marry world. They're splitting. So they still want a Republican president. If they split and divide, but still have the same goal, now they're unstoppable. And the Fox, Fox can have all their numbers with the older people. Tucker can get all the polo wearing lacrosse kids and like you're unbeatable and they make it look like they're against each other and they're not because they just want the same Republican to be elected. Meanwhile, all the fucking Democrats are over here sitting like, hey, we should all just be friends. Like, no, get a new strategy. Go argue. It's clearly the only way it's working. Is that the Democratic this is, strategy? Yes. This is, this is, this is, this is really it like- used to be the Republicans. This is really some scary shit though because the more I look at this video, the wear back video that Tucker put out on Twitter, this like, don't feel like it could be AI. What do you mean, Maul? Like, look, what do at you mean? Look, look at him. Just look at him. It kind of does You've look been like watching too much Tucker. No, look at look at <laughs> it. Kind of looks Tucker. like a yes. cabin in the woods. That looks like a green screen. That looks like he's in a really well. What that do you mean? It's, it's, shot it's really an extremely well. good yeah. camera that focuses on him and blurs his background. Thank you. Yeah, or nice. Mona Scott invented it. <laughs> yeah, or shallow depth of field. <laughs> or this is not really him at all. <laughs> Damaris just explained no, how cameras yeah, work. Yeah, yeah Damaris is <laughs> Wait, like... And all you guys just looked at me really weird when I explained my Fox divide and conquer theory, but... That. No, what do you mean? I'm a, this is not AI. I don't think this is AI. This is not, not AI. How do you know How do you know? Okay, that? quick question. Quick oh question. Why if would if this is not AI, where is the real Tucker? If this is, I mean, if this, if this is AI... <laughs> they killed Tucker. Y'all acting like that. But, but why y'all acting like we not living in a fucking simulation and anything so is possible? the real Tucker Carlson is dead. They fried pan roasted that nigga three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> They read oh, his iMessage. It yeah. was like, well, he's got to go. They, they saw he was ready to go rogue. They was like, nah. we nah, But he said, we're back. We're back. Yeah. yeah. No, we're back. I know we're back. You know who else said we're back? Remember Arnold? <laughs> I'll be back. This is it. <laughs> now he's Arnold. I'm telling you. Y'all yo, think that all of this shit is not, all of this is part of something. This is something like a whole thing is being like unveiled in front of us. Like, I'm, I'm going to question everything now. Anybody that's on TV talking, I'm like, yo, was that really that dude? Because we've Ball. seen this, bro, we've seen this AI shit. We've seen the power of this AI shit. I'm well, just saying, I'm not saying it's- I've never seen AI this good. I, I don't know if they released like a new version. Like, a new update? Yeah, like I don't know. AI. Elon has the budget. Elon bro, does have the budget. Hey, you talking to a lot of people with a lot of money. Yeah, I'm just saying, all of this shit, him, Tucker Carlson being fired, and now he's on social media where the entire world is almost on social media and everybody gets their news from- 30 second clips just scrolling. Yeah. I hate that's, that's not why, an that's accident. Why kill. I that's hate not to an accident. Yeah. I hate to defend them all, but. No, I agree with that. It's not terms, an accident. I just, I don't fuck think. Fuck you. What you mean you hate no, to defend I, I, can, I, can give you, I can give you good evidence to support what you're saying. In terms of AI, generally speaking, what, the, what we have, what normal consumers have, is seven years behind of where the technology actually exists. So like the Unless military clearance, like the chat GBT, all that shit that we have that we think is incredible is outdated and old as fuck to the people that have had this 
seven or eight years, eight ago. years ago. Right. Yeah. So who is to who's to say that maybe that's where they already are? So we've been this watching. Could AI be a version. I mean, I'm just saying it could be. It's not. It's probably possible. Not. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm, but it could I'm exist. just saying. Pay attention to the simulation that we live in. Like question all of this shit. Like how my mom was like, call me when I asked her for just yeah. a code for the con. That well, that's fair. I'm like, for sure. You I, kind I, of question. I definitely all, believe in question. Question all of this shit. Like mm. this is not an accident, Tucker Carlson. I'm on Twitter now. No, that's not an accident. What? Though. So it, where he knows again, everybody gets their news from. Just go on Twitter and scroll the timeline. I wonder if he plans on monetizing from because you can monetize on Twitter. And thus far, these two videos, obviously, these are like the announcement rollout videos. Wait, you think he's he's monetizing like the regular way? No, he would have an exclusive have deal, deal with, with Elon. He may he may be a fifty percent uh, owner in Twitter now. <laughs> like, That's sick. The yeah, I mean, yeah, if they going, give him like stock and shit like that, yeah, I guess. And you realize, well, the stock's down. This he's is liquid though. Also, have to realize the play that Elon made with this. If this is official that Tucker will be exclusive on Twitter to deliver us news every day. He is going to take that whole Facebook crowd that's keeping Facebook alive and bring them right to Twitter. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a good Elon business move, in my opinion, because mm -hmm. Tucker's audience killing on Facebook. Look yeah. at his look at his website. He's got a, a gun. It's because he's a true, real American. There you go. Yeah. He, the tucked in trees. Uh, a businessman. But these colors don't run. Yeah. What they say? But Bud Light doesn't run through those veins. It always kills me because like these... He doesn't piss out a Bud. Yeah. Yeah. He just shot a transizer bush can. Well, he, got, he, got, he, got a, he got a jar. He got a tin jar of that uh, chewing tobacco on his pocket. You see it right there. Real he American. He does. That is a... <laughs> it's so... He like, was a billionaire since hey, he was hey, born. Like, that's what kills me. It's not you. I was just about to say that. Like, Look you be living Rolex. in major Good cities, Rolex. but nice I'm rolling. there... Like, now he's out in a cabin in the woods or now he's out shooting. Like, bro, like, you live in, like, Chicago or something. Like, you don't fucking live American in the woods. Man. It's like the Justin Timberlake uh, on Back to the Woods rollout. Oh, my God. That face is like if you were... Hate that's that like one of the first faces you would see if you first came to America for the first time and landed at an airport. <laughs> that face would be on a like a poster somewhere. Yeah, he has the most punchable face I think in media yeah, history. No, but see, really? if I was a white yeah. woman. That's a, a white punchable woman face that believed in like pro life. Like I would, that would he'd be my type. That'd that be your savior. Go, How do you yeah. know what? <laughs> No, that's interesting. If I was a white woman that was a pro life, like, I feel like pro life she's white women probably bipolar. look at him and be like, "Damn, like that's a man." Like I feel, yeah, that's or they, a man. Or they look at Brad Pitt and say the same thing. <laughs> like this, they probably do look at Brad Pitt the same way. He looks like a turtle. Oh, I'm talking about older white women. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Then in that case, yeah, you're right. Yo, Dick Cheney shot somebody in the woods with a shotgun in the face and, and, yeah. and didn't even get probation. Buckshot. <laughs> uh, should we stay on shootings? That wasn't the transition I was trying to make, but yeah. Thank you, Julian. Uh, Good segue. Yeah. So Tory Lanez, uh, his motion for right. a new trial. That was, that was actually funny. I mean, it worked out. Tory yeah. Lanez's motion for a new trial has been denied. Uh, he is reportedly facing uh, up to a maximum of 22 years in prison with a minimum of nine, nine. years, I believe. Minimum of nine. Yeah. And he's facing deportation uh, back to Canada because obviously, you know, you, you shoot somebody, you get convicted of a felony in America and you're not a, a citizen. You have to go back to your country. Do we mm -hmm. know what Canadian jails look like? Are they better than our jails? Because if uh, you can't get worse, I yeah. kind of want Canadian jails are a lot better than American. Yeah, kind of want Canada is just then. a better place than America. Honestly, I'm not defending American jails, Julian, but that sounded very American privileged. What? There's way worse jails than American jails. <laughs> uh, all right, Canada seems. I feel like Canada's got it down. Yes, Canada. Oh no, no, Canada. Canada I'm like, sorry. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, there, and there are some nice prisons in America. Like if you go to some of these federal facilities, well, where like Martha Stewart went. Yeah, like some of these prisons in in America are are you know they're not bad. What do you got to do to get to those, not the other ones? You have got to be rich on, and white to be. Yeah. Well, yeah, ah, it depends fuck. on the type of crime you commit. I didn't sign up for that. Um, and then your lawyer, you know, can request for you to be put in certain uh, facilities and things like that. That's usually if you have money, you can request a, a better facility. Yeah, okay. typically the guy that steals billions and ruins everyone's pension and has their parents die broke will get like three years in a prison with a tennis court and, and a then, lake. And then a lake and tennis. Khalif, yeah. Khalif Broder will maybe, possibly, <laughs> allegedly take a backpack from someone and be in Rikers for three years. Well, so yeah, you know, like it's it's balance. It's all about balance. It's like everyone gets what they deserve. So uh, Tory, his uh, his his motion for a new trial was denied, and he begged the judge not to ruin his life. Um, Say, I could be your son. Told the told yeah. the judge he could be his son. Because the did judge you, is black, if I'm not mistaken. Did you guys hear that? I know the judge looked at him like my son would never be in court for no shit like this. Did you hear that audio letter, like that over the phone prison thing that was sent to the judge? 
I heard, I heard, I heard that. Um, it was very uh, PR lawyer driven words. He was he trying to sound like Asada Shakur? Was he Mumi on death row? Like I didn't. There's no way everyone thought him sending that was a good idea. I mean, should have auto tuned it. This is from the. This is the same, but we've heard other audios from from uh, him in jail as well. That you know, you shouldn't just you just shouldn't be talking on the phone saying certain things. It's not going to help you in any way. Um, I just think that the judge, because I think the judge did tell the the, uh, the defense lawyer like this is just grandstanding at this point. Cool. They didn't even want to hear no more of the side. Said we have more than enough evidence to deny this motion for a new trial. How many appeals does he get? Because uh, he, he yeah, I think he, he he has a few more, they're at, gonna, and they're gonna appeal it again. At what point, right? When you know you guilty of some shit, at what point do you take that on the chin? Because like we fight, we fight, we fight, but like, at what point does like guilt settle in? I don't know. Well, when you're shit. when you're somebody that you know, some people die with the lie. I've seen people that I've know were lying, and they, you know, they go down with the with the with the ship. Oh, I'll they, die they, with my got, life for sure. But right, like, so some people, some people, some people are like that. They're just built like that. And then you're talking about somebody that knows that they're facing deportation, somebody that knows that they're going to be away from the music business for at least 10, 9, 10 years. That's a long time in the music business. Long time. Um, that was over. So yeah, he's he's yeah. he's just trying any. You know, at this point, you have nothing. To, he has nothing. And he to got lose. kids. He has nothing to lose at this point. He's he has everything to gain at this point if he. Begs and pleads and appeals, and they give him a new trial. Like he's just trying anything to get out of the position he's in because he has nothing to lose. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, at what point does the human part of you kick in? I think narcissism would trick yourself into saying some bullshit like, "Oh, God will handle me later," but let me get out of jail. Yeah, because people like, love to say that. Like he'll probably think in his head, like, "I'll make up for it," and if I get out of jail, I'll be so much philanthropy. I'll take care of everyone. I'll be a whole new person. I'll go to church. Like narcissism will make you do that and then just lie to get out of jail. And it's a fucked up, it's a fucked up position to be in because you're talking about somebody that obviously was uh, very talented, had a lot of opportunities. Um, we even talked about it at the time, had one of the hottest online shows during the pandemic. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, it was great. It just was so many opportunities and, and, and things that were coming into fruition for him based off of just his talents to, uh, you know, now be in a position facing not at minimum of nine years in prison and deportation. It's like you, you really just threw your entire life away. And for what? A night of ego, drunken, you know, emotional things that you just couldn't control. Well, I mean, for the sake of his family, because you, you can never blame kids or, or family members for situations their family members put them in when they're the breadwinner. I hope he liquidates everything. I hope he sells his catalog. Uh, I hope he just gets enough money <laughs> for his family to be all right. I'm going to go a step that's, further. That's I the only thing I could think of to do the right thing to do right now. <laughs> no, and I, and I hope that, you know, he finds healing in himself or... The things that happened that night, because, you know, whether you you're guilty of this or not, you know, people still trying to say, you know, spin narratives and say that, you know, he was wrongly convicted. And that's, you know, if you want to be on that side, cool. But uh, the state of California determined that there's enough evidence to convict him of this crime. So we'll go with that. And so, we, you know, you say. What does he learn from this? You know, during his time away, what does he learn from this? How does he change from this? How does he grow from this? Uh, well, he won't grow. He's pretty short. What, what uh, you know, what examples do you set now for people that's coming up now? And that's, that's looking at this and learning from his mistakes. And, you know, what message what message does it send to black women in entertainment and, 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 and just in our culture? You know what I mean? So it's a lot of things that you look at from this this case that's just so unfortunate because Again, we're talking about two very talented people with so much opportunity and things to them that just had something happen that night that derailed their entire careers and their lives. You know what I mean? Like, May could have been killed. I mean, I think it was the DA. Someone in court had put a quote out when they were suggesting his sentencing, yeah. which they haven't obviously put out yet. Said, anyone that fires a gun five times at someone could have killed them. Mm -hmm. So, no. For sure. Like... <laughs> Um, this isn't going to be some probation shit. Yeah. Like, it's nine to 22. And, 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 you know, people forget about everybody's talking, you know, about the, the suspect in this case. 
you know, what about the victim? Yeah. You know, how does how does she heal? How does, you know, because she had to endure a lot through that. Like I'm and I'm talking about she had to watch people that she probably thought she had a a relationship with. Yeah. Like say things about her, her back, online. Her back, and, yeah. and you know, and it's kind of like, is does she feel protected? Does she feel safe in our culture? Does she feel safe around black? I'm gonna speak for me. Does she feel safe around black men? You know what I'm saying? Like you just it's just so many things now that you gotta ask about this because again, this is something that this is not the first time something like this that we've seen cases where, you know, it's, it was tragic and a woman was killed. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, what do we learn from this? Because obviously it affects all of us. It affects you even if you're in the streets and you have nothing. And if you're a fucking two very talented people with money and a whole career, it could happen to you too. So it's just all a, a fucked up way to learn about something, but it is something that we need to learn from. And I only hope and pray that you know, through this time that Tory, you know, he he heals and he becomes a better person and a better man. And I pray that Megan is, you know, she gets to a point where she feels safe and she feels protected and um is able to get back to being the person that she was on her way to being. Because um, again, this was something that was totally, especially the time that we were in with the whole, you know, Black Lives Matter and shit like that. This was like completely fucked up for this to happen. So I just feel like at the end of the day, if you're the type of person who will shoot at a woman and then drag that woman's name through the mud and then even when you get convicted, still not take accountability and won't even just shut the fuck up and do your time, that you're an evil person. And I don't think that there's much growth that will come of you. I'm, well, I, I respect yeah. that too. Um, I mean, Especially but, coming from a black woman, I respect that. But hopefully they're, and not that it would change anything, but they, that may take some years of sitting in silence in jail to come to that realization yeah because it get quiet <laughs> when that cell door closing ain't nothing with you but your thoughts it's 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 loud now it's it's trials you're still in contact with people it's it's trying to come up with a case you can lie your ass off at this point mm -hmm. it's gonna get real quiet by year three yeah out of curiosity do you guys think that he drops music at all while he's locked up yeah that nigga's still gonna be dissing meg in the pen bro he's you still so right sure. sure. you think so bro yes well, it's huh. it, it, and I'm not mad at Demar saying that because I could see that happening, but it's just still crazy to me that even after all of this, people are still saying they don't think he did it, and I'm like, okay, so then who did? Well, at, at this point, too, outside of that one call when he was talking to Kelsey, that kind of like put the nail in the coffin, where it was like, there's really no mm -hmm. no reason to think otherwise at this point. Mm -hmm. With his appeal, him not getting on the stand, and I'm never going to pretend like I know anything about being a lawyer. Just common sense would say if I'm going to do an appeal and try to bring new evidence and I didn't take the stand before to tell my side of the story, if I think an appeal would go through, I would have to talk. Mm -hmm. And if he's not doing that, like I've listened to, to Tory Lane's music. I listen to the interludes. Like I know he's, I know he's El, El Chapo and shit, but mm -hmm. I don't think he's that 10 toes down. If he did not shoot that girl, he's saying who did it. For, for sure, <laughs> like, not, like, for sure. The fact that he in the appeal was like, "I'm gonna get on the stand and tell y'all what happened that night," and that didn't happen when they were trying to get the appeal is like, bro, you're making yourself look even more guilty. At but, that point. but 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 again, you is not this ten toes down for Kelsey. It goes right, and and that's what I'm, and that's what I it know. Just, you're the biggest kingpin in in can Canadian history, right. according to your interludes. But nah, bro, you're not this, this guy. You're it's telling. Just, it's just common sense, and it's. If I'm out with two women, right, and one of them gets shot while I'm with, and it wasn't me, I'm going to tell you exactly what the fuck happened. Especially when people are saying that I'm the one that did it. Like, what? No, 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 no. Y'all not going to paint me to be no guy that's shooting black women, like, or any women. Like, so I don't, that, all of that is just like, you know, and, you know, knowing our cultures, oh, that's snitching. He ain't want to snitch. That's not, that's not what snitching is, bro. Like, the people are trying to say that I shot a woman. And I'm going to tell you and show you that, no, I did not shoot a woman. Like, that just didn't, it did not happen. So, so you, you, Damaris and Yomi are out. There's a gun in the car. Damaris just starts going crazy. <laughs> Tells Yomi to dance. She catches one in the big toe. Damn. Damn, not the not big funny. toe. You know, like the world, and the world is saying, Maul did it. Can I snitch for you? No, you ain't got to <laughs> Can you snitch? call me as a character witness? Bro, like, it was you, Damaris. You don't even have to snitch for me. I'm going to tell, I'm going to call Hit Boy and say, send me a beat. I'm going to tell you <laughs> niggas, I'm going to tell you niggas exactly what the fuck happened. Before they say that, I'm the one that did it. Like, I'm not, no, that's, it's just, and again, it, we're not talking about, 
you know, because people said snitching. Like, these weren't ops. Like, they didn't hate each other. These were like three friends in a car. They were at a party. They, yeah, like, this is not, so it's just like. They weren't on their way to rob a bank. <laughs> yeah, like, I just don't, I, I just don't understand how people could still try to paint these narratives of what they, what they think or didn't happen. But the the one thing we do know has happened is that his, his motion for a new trial has been denied. Good. And that his sentencing is scheduled for, I think, sometime in June. So. Lock him up. Throw away it is key. what it is. Again, prayers to Meg, and hopefully she's somewhere healing. She looks. I, I tell you one thing: if she ain't healed, she look healed. <laughs> she look good as shit. She mentally, oh I don't think. God. I don't think. I, you know how long it, it will take time, to yeah. mentally yeah, heal. From no, that. I, oh, oh, we know what the <laughs> mental scars are, but she, ooh, she look like she been taking care of herself. Yeah, oh she looks God. really, really got good. Got some money back to her mom. Did you guys oh see Partisan God. Fontaine's uh, poem that? I saw it, but I didn't see. I, I didn't see all. Of, I think it was like a third slide that I, I was watching a game, and I didn't get to like the third slide. Yeah, yeah, but are they? Yeah, they're not yeah. together no more, are they? I, we don't know. I think they are. It's the poem sounds like it was, was this about his. Her. Like we're not together, but I always love you. I always have a special. That's place kind of what the poem was. The poem was given like they're still together. I don't know. It sounds like it was about her. I don't know those people's business, but whoever it was about, it was a beautiful poem. And I'm also a very big party fan. Um. Of as far as his writing, ha ha ha. Name, name your top three songs. What? You're a big fan of him? I like his music too, but yeah, you're a name, big fan of him? Name, yes. Name you know what Damaris is saying. Name she'll, some <laughs> she'll jump on them, yeah. that nigga's shoulders if, if That's given not what I mean. That's not what I'm talking about. I, well, I said as a writer, y'all know that party writes for other people, not just we're, himself, we're, right? We're aware, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, no, makes, he makes great music by himself too. Yeah, he does. No, exactly who he writes for. <laughs> we're not going down this path anymore. Thank I just said I'm a fan of his writing. All I said was I know exactly he's, who he writes he's, for. He's talented. So it's, to hear him do it's poetry. Been, it's, like the, the, it's out. Like, I know how to read credits. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, how do you think Tory will fare in California prison? Uh, I mean, well, he's going to be, I think, well, he will, will he do, he have to do his time in California because a crime was committed in California, yeah. correct? And then he'll be deported. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's doing the nine in Cali? I think so. And then yeah, he goes that's deported state, after that? It's a state case. Yeah, that's I think that's, federal, where, that's where it happened at. So he has to do his time there. Where else would he do it? Yeah, I so I think I think he's gonna be in California, in a prison in California, and um, I, I, listen, man, I know some niggas up. that I know some niggas that did time in the in California. What gang that, does he claim? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but it's it's not gonna be easy. I'll tell you that. The jail isn't easy. Period. No matter which state you're in, jail is not easy. But then when you're in prison for what he's in prison for, and people know him, he's a recognizable face. They're gonna know him in there. It's going to be pretty tough. So that's asshole, also though. why I said outside of supporting his, it, he just has one son, kids, I don't know, and family, he needs to liquidate so he can just start paying some people in prison to make sure he's all right. He got to take care of somebody's family on the outside. All right. So who's going to call Cap first? <sighs> in what regard? So uh, a guy by the name of Ramir Scatterwaith is filing a motion to Supreme Court uh, for a paternity test because he believes that his biological dad is none other than Jay Z, Mr. Sean Carter. Yeah, don't you don't you hate when the legends bite from the younger generation? Like Gibbs just did this last week. Yeah, how Jay's trying to do it. Shit is weird. Um, now I don't you know I don't know, but this man is saying he is the illegitimate son of Jay Z. Um, we're going on what four or five kids at this point. It's I, listen, man. Listen, I get it. Jay was hot in the nineties. This is the least <laughs> the least looking child that has accused Jay. No, nah, I can kind of see it. There was a there was a girl. I love that was when people a, uh, wait, no. I love when people say yeah, what Eddie just said it. and then they take the paternity test and it's not the son. Like <laughs> I love that. Where you saw it at? I see it. I the see the it nose. It's I the, the nose. nose. That's that's racist. That's, that's, that's not racist. racist. That's, that's not, not racist. No. That's How not you racist. Go, first of all, you can't tell me what's racist, all right? You don't know me and my people. Than Jay Z's nose. Wow. Wow. That's your son. That's your son. That's, you was killing him in the home of the Turpins? That's wow. not. Yo, he was waiting God. for that one. <laughs> this, this, this gentleman is 30 years old. He cannot be my child. Like, Why not? not? It's not possible. Yeah, it is. Not my kid. Yeah, you could. I mean, you was ahead of your time. Nah, wasn't you that You was far fucking early. Nah. Well, so, to be uh, fair, Rory, he's been in this legal battle with Jay-Z for 10 years. Well, there's another girl that I think Damn. looks just like him from like one of those uh, Emory counties in Maryland. Mm-hmm that like matches that timeline when they were down there that I always thought was. So but. he's saying, he's saying that um, he just wants, he just wants Jay to recognize him 
if it is indeed his son, they just acknowledge him. He doesn't want any money. I mean, yeah. He doesn't want any, you know, whatever. Like, I mean. Okay, so Jay- he also wants him to take a paternity test. That's the right. He's accusing Jay-Z of abusing the legal system to avoid taking the paternity test for 10 years. Jay won't take the fucking test. All right, Jay recognizes him. Is what this gentleman from Maryland as well? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Because I understand why Hope probably hasn't done a show in Baltimore anywhere in Maryland. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just it's like the seventh kid from Maryland. If this kid is from Maryland, crazy. yeah, I'm not. Sure, I'm not sure where. We're, uh, he's from New Jersey. He's from oh, Jersey. Sorry, so if he's Trenton he's, area, he's currently yeah. from New Jersey, but that doesn't necessarily. Yeah, like where's his mom from? Conceived there. Yeah, if we she's don't know. from Trenton. Like, do we need the? the Yo, test? I mean, I don't know where you're going with it, <laughs> but I just don't. I don't know. This is his mother who has passed away. Oh, oh, wow. rest in peace. Oh, wow, oh, yeah. rest in peace to his mom. But do you think that there's a? They got, I mean, she kind of has the same nose, too. I don't know. Maybe. She does have the same Julian, nose. you're pulling up a picture. First of all, I that see only was, photo. Their faces are dark. I was taken can't out see of nothing. Boost Mobile well, in black. 2001. Shit, yeah, yeah they're, they're not type. Wesley Snipes. What, do you want to get a new photo? Well, yeah. I thought that's that the only photo they have available of him and his mom? Currently, yes. Looks like it, yeah. Oh, I mean, well. they can't take another one. Well, okay. first, well, again, prayers and condolences to him on the loss of his mom. But um, Again, Jay-Z recognizes him. Now what? Uh, sometimes that's we get, world an, we, get burns? we get another healing album. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I mean, we we've seen instances before where people that are famous find out they have a kid, and sometimes more, a lot of times it's been the kid didn't want nothing. It's just like, yo, I always knew you and my dad, but I didn't, I didn't know you. I never knew you. All right, let's ask you guys this question then. In Jay's current status financially, he's chilling. He's comfortable. Say they eventually, oh, no. say they take the test. Yeah. Turns out it's his son. Jay, being the good person that we you know him to be, do you think he would just cut him off something to live comfortably, not have a relationship with him? Maybe that part's just not in the cards for him, but at least make him have a comfortable life. Uh, if so. if I, knowing I know, that he's the father, I know everyone thinks that we just defend Jay yeah. outright all the time. I don't think that would be Jay's first initial reaction if it is in fact DNA evidence that that is his kid. I think Jay would try to get to know this kid. Yeah, and make sure he was. I don't think he cut Absolutely. him off with it. He and, wouldn't. And he wouldn't like, just ign- ignore this kid. If it was his kid, he wouldn't just ignore. Right, that's good. I, I think that. I think that he feels like this is absolutely not his kid, which is why he hasn't taken the paternity test. And it, it wouldn't be anything crazy that would mess up his family or anything. Like this kid would would have been born in what nineteen ninety three. Uh, no, he's thirty. So. Uh no yeah oh yeah, yeah. so ninety three right. like yeah that's it's not like uh. It was when he was married or like, it's not some side baby. Yes. Like, he didn't have a baby on Beyonce. If, if you've listened to his raps, he went from fucking New York to Jersey to VA to Maryland. Like he, he traveled a bit and he was a drug dealer with chains. I'm sure he ran into some women that he. That's racist. Why is that racist? A drug dealer I thought with chains. A drug dealer with chains? chains? is crazy. You think chains just so make black women open their fucking I didn't. Well, first of all, I didn't say black no, women. No, what do you think about my But I think people? chains and drug dealers make all women Go crazy. Get <laughs> yeah. down on the yeah, floor. Yeah, no, no. I'm making I, I'm I'm taking all Get women down. Get down on the floor. I um again, I don't think that Jay feels like this is his, his child. And I think that the reason why he hasn't taken a paternity test, if this uh gentleman has been trying to get one for 10 years, is because with a guy of Jay-Z stature, if he entertain this and take a paternity test, what message does that send to any other women who feel like they had a night with Jay somewhere along his rap? celebrity career and he never spoke to him again and then they got pregnant around the same time that they may have slept with Jay and another guy they're gonna shoot their shot at the paternity test as well and now Jay will be pissing in the cup every Sunday for the yeah. next eight years um, no you don't wanna you don't even wanna open that door sometimes so yeah. I think that you know that's wild parenting though I mean like imagine just listen, like the telling freak your kid like the yo, freak Nick Doc is coming out and Good let's luck. Go, let's go get this test. Listen, man, the freak, and, the freak you know Nick, it's not either. The freak Nick Doc is coming. I mean, it was a time. You know what I'm saying? The nineties was it was lit. It was freaky. And a lot of these dudes that's very relevant today, making a lot of money today, they started in the nineties and they were successful and they were young and they were making money and moving around. So, you know, things happen. You um, think these but, sorry, go ahead, Rory. If sure. uh if it does come out in fact that this gentleman is Jay Z's biological sorry. son. Will you DM him and say peace, nephew? Yo, you send him the the happy birthday, nephew. Happy birthday. The nephew. standard three money bags for men. Will you like? Will you let him know when the family reunion is? Like, plug him into all the other cousins. What if he get a Rockefeller chain before? Sit next you? to you at the Rock Nation brunch. 
I just don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have any response. And if 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 it is, then listen, man. You, you know, your dad is is Jay Z. Life is a little different now. Whether you want money from him or not, it's just you can say that. Mm. My dad is Jay Z. That's like a that's a cool flex. Absolutely, that's it's absolutely. not. If there's no perks. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Works. I mean, no. I'm saying if there's no perks that come with it, it's not cool. I mean, but there's perks that will come with it. Like you will you, just your dad being Jay Z. There's perks that come. Y'all with Y'all are your dad so insensitive. Jay-Z. He'd have a father now. Oh, oh yeah, well, sorry, he, sorry, he sorry. Probably, sorry. No, no, has I'm sure fa- he'd get into the no, books. No, he's he a father he now. He have a father. He probably has, cap, cap, cap. He probably has a father. Cap. Yeah, you don't think father? people uh, meet their fathers in their 30s and end up having a good yeah, relationship with them? Happens. Heal a lot of their it past. Happens. Those guys aren't Jay-Z. Well, that that part. Everybody is acting like Jay Z and Beyonce is going to take this young man in and he's going to no, he's 30 years old. Who's he's acting like that? He's 30. What's in your cup right now? Is you tweaking? It's Rose How Rose. am I tweaking? <laughs> she, she, we didn't say he was going to take. Man's got a full cup. Just he's like, no, I know that Jay Z will build a relationship. Jay, I, why would I want a relationship with a man who won't even piss Wait, in the cup? He won't even piss mo- in the cup. I didn't cup. say he was moving in. The but right. y'all, no, y'all said no. Jay will have a he'll have a father he'll now. Have and a Jay father. will get to know him and all of the, Jay won't piss in a cup, bro. You okay. think this man gonna want to get to know a nigga that won't piss in a cup for ten years? And he should, at thirty years old, realize that that's Jay Z, and I'm sure he's asked every day by women to piss in a cup. Yeah. To not take that personally, and if it's gotten this far, there may be some type of evidence. That that really could be his father enough to force Jay to piss that up. Ten years though. <laughs> I mean, how are you yeah. ducking a cup for ten years? I mean, I mean, I feel like easily. if you if you the only reason he would be avoiding this for so long is because he he absolutely knows. Like he probably seen pictures of his mom was like I never even because he knows he's the pappy. Also, like, I think that's pappy. really ignorant. I don't think you piss in a cup. Isn't it like a swab? Like you're like I hair. Mean, it's not like Listen, like they need some. They need some of your DNA. Yeah, sperm in a cup, you, not yeah. piss. Sorry, jerk. Swab what? your mouth, Isn't piss it a, out of your cheek. I mean, Jay, I think did say in one rap he only pisses out Ace of Spades. So, all yeah. right, damn. So yeah, I think on success, that. he said, yeah. just yeah. Just but what if the Ace of Spades is kind of like like the you know the home? Hope, what if that's Ace? The home COVID test mm-hmm. where you could like d- dip it in a bottle of sun kiss and it comes back COVID positive. What are we doing? Like, what if Ace of Spades is that? What if they like what Jay like it's children pours Ace in the cup and mm-hmm. then they swab and they be like, "Yeah, you the dad." <laughs> like, <laughs> it's cool. like, wait, that went completely wrong. Yeah, if I was Jay Z, I wouldn't be. And I pissed in the cup sounded so ignorant. I'm sorry. It gives some of his I mean, DNA. But um, if I was Jay, I wouldn't be too quick to give put sperm in a cup in anybody's facility. I don't think it's sperm. If I'm sperm. Not, I don't think it's sperm. Yeah. Guys, it's like Yo, hair let me ask you or something. a swab of your uh, mouth. I'm gonna ask you like, something one more time. What's in your cup? Like, what sperm. are you drinking? Sperm, apparently. Sperm, yeah. <laughs> you think that Jay gotta go somewhere and jack off <laughs> and nut in the cup? Yo, come in this cup. <laughs> <laughs> what you think they about to have Jay And by the way, what do they match it with? Does he come in a cup too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they put him in a centrifuge that? and spin him together. All they need is a swab of the inside of his mouth. Yeah. And they're going to run that through a DNA or machine. Or like some hair, right? Hair. Or some hair. What if, whatever. I mean, he should be, Jay does have a lot of hair now. He should be 23 and me. See if there's some Carters or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't think that's... Uh, it could work. It actually could work. Can it? This would be a great campaign. How would that work? Three and me. Uh, let's like if you hook up with my mom years ago after a I show. I love your mother, and I've no, I'm not never. Sorry, <laughs> what is I'm wrong? I'm not saying that? you. I'm just saying okay. if I'm this gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Jay Z hooks up with my mom years ago. He's That's on tour. Incest. Whatever. <laughs> and how do I find out that <laughs> my child is related to Jay Z through Twenty Three and Me? Because there could be a way that the Carter family could. Pop up <laughs> on twenty three and me or something. Like I'm sure there's card. He has like fifteen nephews. Like you, you know all of them. Yeah, like, but there's. So, I'm sure. There's, I'm sure them. somebody in the Carter family has done twenty three and me. Yeah, but I, what I if they know. do it? What if she? What if he do the twenty three and me and Ty Ty come back? And says, <laughs> nah, see now y'all just. If what I'm, what is lot of the judge? If yes. I'm Jay or someone of that status, like with that much money, I might pay a company that does like Twenty Three and Me to wipe my DNA and data from a database like that. That it's impossible to match with to be under my. Yeah, but you well, can't. You can't unmatch I mean, his. I'm not saying cousin. they're Twenty Three and Me is Why everything you just, legal. <laughs> you have to submit your DNA to Twenty. I you know, but I'm saying I, if I'm Jay, I would submit mine and then be like, any match that's on this, oh. eradicate them from this. They can't like, like they I don't, don't want to be connected. I don't want to be connected to anyone. Get rid of them. So that way no one can come after me. That's I would cool. do some fuck shit like that. Yeah, but that's because that's why you're the guy that you are. If I was a billionaire, that's kind of a good move. No one can come after me through DNA because it doesn't exist. Mm. Okay, but 
The kid's 30. He's still coming to cup, though. The kid is 30. Like, it's not like uh, legally he would owe the kid anything. Morally. Yes, he would. What legally, he Back would child owe? support. Yeah. Yes. Back child support. Bro, he can owe him back child support. Yes, he what? can. Yes, he can. All right, so cool. Take this two mil and... That's what I'm saying. Hand him, give him a Basquiat and get it. No, 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 no. I don't think the two mil would be back child support. I think it will... It might be more than that or around two mil. Do you think uh, Beyonce purposely started her tour overseas just to get Jay out the country? Mm. Mm. Doing the science. Damn. Yeah. I, I promise you that's not why that tour happened. <laughs> <laughs> you said Australia. I, How I far can we go? I know y'all think Rory just struck gold just no, now. I, let, I know let, I did. <laughs> let me assure y'all you that that's not that why that tour happened. No, that's definitely not why that tour happened. He'll be back in Jersey in September. <laughs> Another guy that's out here uh, actually having legitimate babies. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. God damn. No, I'm just saying. You know, this is he knows this is his baby. Uh, Robert De Niro. <laughs> that just sounds crazy. Robert De Niro. Yeah. Had a, he is now the father of seven. He just had his seventh child at damn. the age of 79. I feel like this is some shit Maul's going to do. I would be so mad at my father. Why? Yo, I would be pissed. That's wild self. And now I have to, not to raise will. your fucking kid. If I was the youngest and now I'm not the youngest anymore after 79, like almost, what, 50 years, 40 years, Why? I'll be now pissed off. Are his kids. Now I literally have to raise my sibling. Oh, you can't, yeah, you can't give me no little brother at 40 years Yeah, old. like why didn't you Jay-Z this shit and deny it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's racist. He has a way better case. He's 79. That's true. That's his, oh, that's is that that's his that daughter? Might be his one only. of his daughters. Well, this, this must have been planned, right? Daughter? He has kids ranging from the '70s till 2023. Damn. Yeah, he's 79. Yeah. That's nuts. I'm just saying, like, that's a wild spread. That is a big spread. But Bobby, <laughs> you do think this was planned, though, right? I hope so. I, you can't. I, can I don't pray. imagine you that. Not, yeah. I can only pray. You can't have a kid at 79. Yeah, Robert and it's De Niro's not, like, not having babies on accident at 79. Though. But I'm saying, well, like, that's no, no, no. I don't even mean by plan like, like pull out. Type shit or like, come on, yo, we want to have a kid. Like we yeah, had a drunk like, night and no, not even fucking. You had that science did that. Like they brought sperm. Why do you? And, why do you think that? Oh, you mean like they? There's no. What, because, you think cum works at seventy nine to have a child? Maybe. Yes, there are plenty of old. I'm ass talking about just men fucking. Like yes, there are plenty of old ass men out here fucking and nutting. There's nah. They gave her the work. turkey baster. Now, so Damaris, I know she said that with conviction. There's plenty of seventy nine year old men just regularly fucking she and knows having them. children. Bro. And this is where you can uh, get 35% off Blue Chews. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. A new Rory and Maul. Blue yeah. Chew might, might make his heart explode. Nah, I no, mean, that's, listen, that's man, he's a De Niro safe. pack. He's definitely, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know if that information came out, if they had, you know. A lab has a whole to procedure. do it. Well, yeah, I mean. Why do you think that, Rory? So you, you, think, you think Robert De Niro's getting it up? He can't. He can't. He can't sling the old South Siege anymore. I didn't. I didn't say that. It's none of my business. Yeah, he, he can. Maybe I don't yeah, know. He probably bricked up. <laughs> Why do men get so we don't know how to answer? Yeah, because like, we don't want. I don't, to talk about I don't think he's, I don't think because, he's laying the hammer. I'm trying to think how I would feel <laughs> listening to this if someone's trying to tell me I couldn't get my dick up. I'd feel away. So I'm, I'm trying to respect. Give him big, some big give Bobby him, De Niro. Yeah, yeah, okay. He might be all right. Yeah, but there's no way that you you know how hard it is for people in their 20s to have. A baby off regular sex? You think seventy nine year old man? It's not hard for is just in busting in a woman a and having a child. I think I think Bobby took care of himself. Holy shit! Yeah, I think he mm. took care of himself. He did you know, taxi I think he driver. probably does his squats. And this is his girl. You acting like they that fucked with, once. With semen. That's really important. <laughs> you yeah. acting like they fucked once and she got pregnant. Like this is his girl. Like they're regularly fucking. They're not. She got seventy nine. They're not regularly fucking. <laughs> <laughs> They're not. Y'all really yo, y'all sleeping got, on Bobby. Y'all got Bobby De Niro twisted though. Like y'all can't. How y'all just throwing Bobby in the in the coffin like if that? You like think I don't think it don't but like you just live, man. You're not. And that's dude. what he's doing. He's living and and, and, and she ass. On, she on top throwing that shit. Yeah. Meet the fucker. <laughs> you can't. Nah, well, I don't know if she's, she's throwing it. Like he might. She might fuck that hip up. You don't want to. She ain't she throwing not ass. that old. But no, I'm saying uh, you throw. She throw that ass into Bobby's hip like that. He might throw his shit out of commission. He got to be on set. You think this was purely. She's Bobby, 64. Her, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Like, you, don't, you don't think Bobby or her? Oh, wait, hold on. Like, she is, she is 64. No, no, that, no, this is an in vitro baby. This is in vitro baby. This is an in vitro baby. She's 64. She's 64. Wait, you thought she was 30? She's 64. No, I thought she was probably like in her 40s or... Yeah. I mean, she, 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 she yeah. dusty too. No, nah, no, that's... A, 
Sorry. Look at how y'all just tried to shame me to try to convince me. No, no, no. These two people just had a baby. No, no, no. I wasn't trying to shame you. I didn't know that. No, but you were saying it because he was 79. Once you say she's 64, then absolutely there's no way she can. Oh, so you guys are just shitting on women's fertility. No, because women have a... No, scientifically, women have a clock that has a shorter amount of time on it than men's. What do you think his sperm count is? Like 20? I don't know. Bro, the fuck? He could be with a... 25 year old, which would be the sickest thing ever with every egg that she possibly could have. I'm How much you, sperm is coming out I that have a, I have a sister who has <laughs> a father. Her, her father had her at 70, bro. Like, damn. Niggas dicks is still working. Okay, all right, here's the thing. <laughs> still working. Here's, here's the thing. 70, That's I would actually quote, give more bail. You realize once you get to that age. That's a wild quote. There's a difference between 20 and 29. Yeah, whatever. Not much physical difference. 70 and, 70 70. and 79 <laughs> is a an, death sentence. That's an eternity. <laughs> Yo, I need that as a sound effect. What the marriage just said. The, the, the drastically difference crazy. with health with a 70 year old and a 79 year old, especially when it comes to creating a kid. <laughs> Please Google if any 79 year old has ever had a child. Say that shit again. What'd you just say? I have no idea what I said, but. What she should say? I can't repeat it. Uh, five for nine. <laughs> you said the, the, oh. the dicks is still working. Niggas, dicks is still working. <laughs> you, you know your dick will work with your sparking. Yo, that's just like, that's just a wild thing to just throw out in the conversation. Yo, Yo niggas, dicks is still working. Like, whoa. Like, like, it's like, I know what you mean, quote, though. but like to just throw that on the table during like a debate, when that's kind of wild. When I'm talking about Robert about, De Niro. Like, I'm trying to talk about like, science. <laughs> like, nah, that shit works. <laughs> <laughs> it was like she had the big joke of like, niggas dick is still working. Like, all right, <laughs> like we not doubt you. You, got, a great you got information we know. <laughs> like you did the studies, you did the uh, you did the science. We understand. It's all good. Yeah, you're the best of Well, congratulations to that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Following that up with congrats to the happy couple. <laughs> Is that not wild selfish of him though? Because he's yes. gonna die in like Mem- three years. Remember last what episode? Oh, last man. episode, Maul said the adopted kid should should have mandatory therapy, which I understand. This kid needs mandatory <laughs> therapy. Oh D. Oh man. The mom is gonna live till he's like. 10, 11, no. I hope so. That's it? Like, yeah, can we get so. a little more than that? Yeah. Fucking People fifth, live into fifth the grade. Yeah, fifth grade. child is fucking doomed. <laughs> this poor kid. Oh, uh, at least he got that De Niro bag. Oh, Y'all don't yeah. have a Hopefully, Jay Z's the real father, because my God. Holy <laughs> shit. Yo, Doja Cat announced her new album. <laughs> well, she Doja Cat, first of all, shook up the entire uh, internet and the entire uh, culture with. Her tweets over the last few days. She's been fooling all of y'all. She doesn't want to make pop music. And um, or allegedly. Because then she said uh, she her tweets were saying, Oh, everybody's mad. Uh she's purging. My uh, comment section on IG used to be only positivity because I was doing what everyone wanted me to do. And I love that I can see through the bullshit now. It's nice. Much love to everybody else that's been down since day one. I appreciate it. And then she's a planet her and hot pink were cash grabs and y'all fell for it. And now I can go disappear somewhere and touch grass with my loved ones on an island while y'all weep for mediocre pop. That's well, those fire. don't discount yourself. That's Touching fire. grass on an island is fire. That's fire. It is fire. <laughs> Gotta love that. Maybe she thinks she has better pop records. I mean, she has or, maybe, pop or maybe she, well, we I, we may have had the conversation when that, that move record came out mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I told I don't know if it was where I told somebody I was like yo this girl's definitely trolling, like I knew that that was just a troll record like of her saying watch I can make a record that's absolutely stupid dumb I'm dressed up like a cow bitch I'm a cow move it's not like, hard that song is hard as fuck I was admittedly a, a Doja hater in the beginning that's probably why I like her so much because I remember going to one of the first Made in Americas whatever she was on the main stage doing that cow record and I was like. Oh, music is doomed. Yeah, but this is I didn't know she, I didn't know anything about her. But of, that was her way of saying her trolling. <laughs> you get in, you make this type of song that's just absolutely people like it's almost like saying sometimes as artists, we overthink and overcreate. When it's like the world is in love with such mediocre shit at this point. I can put out a record that's moo. I'm a cow, bitch, I'm a cow. And just grab everybody's attention. And then start making music that now they think is hot, but it's like music I don't even want to really be making. This is not the shit I want to do. Mm. And now she's hitting, you know, the internet saying like she fooled everybody. They fell for it. It was a cash grab. Her new music is coming. We we talked about her possibly putting out a full rap album because we believe that she, that's what she wants to do. Well, she put out more snippets. Uh, 
since we last spoke about this, and I'm sure some of you are sick of us talking about it, but I mean, she's replying, so we're going to keep talking. J. Cole could never. <laughs> mm. <laughs> those three snippets, name a J. Cole song better than those three snippets. I mean, just name one. Now you trolling. Wet Dreams. Wet Dreams, yeah. Yeah. I like the fact that she's just dope. To, she just <laughs> knows how to face. She story. knows how to grab two minutes, attention. Two hours and one minute. She knows how to keep attention, and she knows how to create and give people what she wants them to have in the middle of doing all of that. So I think this is just another example of her. Last week she was at the uh, Met Gala dressed up as a cat. She trolls with truth. I think. Yeah, I think there's a lot of trolls. It's a method to madness. She was doing the, the changing her rap name and all that other shit, and mm -hmm. you know, obviously. Replying to people calling her a femf doom, um, that's which is a hard. Nickname. That's hilarious, by the way. And uh, shout out, to, I forgot the Reddit at name on our Reddit on the J Cole versus Doja thread that was there. Mm -hmm. Someone said that Doja Cat was gonna go platinum with no feats, and I thought that was the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> <in the world. laughs> that's dope. That's We've had a good week with the Stink Star, no feats. Like this is Stink Star is legendary. People have been very Wrong funny on week. the internet. Um. But yeah, I, I'm still excited for this Doja album. I actually hope she's not trolling with these snippets. I don't think she is. They no, sound I, I, really good. I think she's gonna give us some 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 dope shit. I mean, I, Doja is a she's an artist. She's you know sometimes they artists create a world in their head and they kind of force you to come into that world and you have to figure it out and try to understand what the artist's artist brain and things like that. But I think Doja's just having fun. But also I think she is very very talented. Mm -hmm. So I think she's you know she's she knows how to play with the audience and play with the culture a little bit and, and rile people up. But then she's going to give us some records that are going to be absolutely dope and shit that we're going to love. So I think this is just another part of her art, having fun. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, we're not dead. By that, I mean the New York Knicks. Yeah. The New York Knicks, yeah. man. Yeah. Go, Listen, man, go, first of all, go. well, by the time y'all are hearing this, it will be, well, game six is, to, game six is tomorrow. The yeah, game will right. be, yep. Game six is tomorrow. tomorrow so uh, tomorrow. hopefully by the time you're hearing this, getting ready to get another victory. Um, I'm just happy that, that, that the Knicks didn't go down to Miami and, and close the season out like that. They get a, a game a game six uh, in Miami now. Well, I'm glad they didn't go down to the, to the Miami at home. They, they forced a game six in Miami. Anything can happen. Go get game six, game seven in Manhattan. At Madison Square Garden, anything could fucking happen. That'd man. be incredible. Just got to go get game six. And I know I counted the Knicks out. I thought it was over. But, um, I mean, it's, they're still, you know, happy that they forced the game six, but it's still a lot. It's, it's a lot of basketball to be played. And we have to win three in a row. I mean, we yeah. have one, but two it's more. tough. But listen, get game six. <laughs> we beat them with Jimmy. That was big. Get like, game six. That was a good win. Um, you know, Jalen played like they needed him to play all 48 minutes. Uh, Julius, he came out of his slump a little bit, was more aggressive. Um, Where are they going to be on Friday? Miami. Miami, Miami right? In Miami. They're in Miami tonight. When and if they beat the this. Heat, who do they play? It's That's looking like, six, looking six, like six, Philly. Six, six, yeah, it looks like a Philly. Yeah, it's so good. It's looking like Which Philly. Which would be kind of fire, too. So, um, I just want the Knicks to force a game seven in the garden. That'd be awesome. I think even That'd if... Fire. I know, I know Knicks fans don't want to hear this, but even if they lose a game seven in the garden... I think the Knicks can look at that as they had a great season. No, it changes the culture of yeah. the organization. Like it, it, like, it, it, it's still a great season for the Knicks. I think they go win game six, most importantly. Just forcing a game seven second round against the Miami Heat, I think the Knicks can, even if they lose, uh, I would love for them to win it. But even if they lose, I think they walk away from that. This was a great season. We need Yo, to get, I'll, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Even this is coming from an abused Knicks fan, so don't take it too <laughs> seriously. Um, them winning last night or two nights ago, to me, is kind of what you're saying. If we just would have went out the other night, mm -hmm. that would have sucked. It, it just would have sucked. And then you go. This out. actually made me feel like this season was a success. Just winning that. Just game. winning that game. <laughs> yeah. And that's and like, that's, like that's we the, stayed alive. It's three two. It, it's not that embarrassing, bro. I'm I telling still you, feel that it's amazing. It was, I, it's amazing what one win could do yeah. for the season. Just yeah. one game. Win game five. Don't go out on the on the home court. Don't let the Heat beat you. Force a game six in Miami. Yep. Now the pressure's on them. Crash the board. Because yeah, they don't want to come back to, to the garden for game seven. I can yeah. tell you that right now. Miami does not want to get on that plane Friday, Saturday night and come back to New York for game seven. They do not want that. So the pressure's on them to win. The Knicks just got to go out and play hard. Hopefully they get it done. Uh, Lakers and Warriors. The Warriors are, listen, man, they still alive. Yep. They still alive. AD got a head injury last night toward the end of the game. 
We don't know what he looks like for game six. I rolled out in the wheelchair. Um, but hopefully was that official. Yeah. Yeah, that was he a actually odd. Did. I think it, I think it may have been a concussion or something. It had thought, it been something. I thought it was just a scratch, but yeah. no, he got hit with like a an elbow, a, a, a arm uh, to the side of the head. So it yeah. probably was a concussion protocols. He probably got a little dizzy, a little lightheaded. Yeah. Um. So I think they probably just being careful with him. I I, I think good. he will play Game Six, but um. I, again, man, the pressure's on the Lakers now. Yeah. Oh. Because now they have to win game. They don't want to go back to Golden State for Game Seven because you know they go back to go. Listen, I know I call Steph Curry a top five player of all time already. Go ahead. And, 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 and no, 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 never. And the internet kind of called me crazy for saying that. Let me let me say something now. Mm, say it. If the Warriors come back and win this series, mm-hmm. I don't think anybody can argue that. I don't think they can argue it now, but yeah, I'm with you. But if, <laughs> if they come back and win this series, that's the nail in the coffin. There is no more debate about if Steph Curry is a top five player all time or not. I think he's top five already, no matter what happens with this series. But they win three in a row against this Laker team, and Anthony Davis been playing the way he's playing. Yeah. Hopefully, he's he's able to go uh, game six because I know if he don't play and the Warriors win, they say, "Oh, that's because Anthony Davis wasn't there." So I want everybody to have their full deck, everybody have the, all of their troops. But if the Warriors come back from this three one, I don't think anybody can argue that Stephen Curry is a top five player of all time. Yeah, it's I think it's it's, it's over at that point. I don't know what happened to Boston. I had them beating Philly. It doesn't look like they're going uh, yeah. get past Philly. So um. Do you have it? And then uh, KD and the, and the Suns, they look, they got some life. They got some life. They play tonight. Great Devin playoffs. Booker's playing his ass off. Oh, man. Yo, can you imagine though Knicks, Philly, Eastern Conference Finals? That's like, ooh. That's like the Turnpike Series. Remember the Subway yeah. Series? That's yeah. going to be wild though. Yeah, we got to watch to see what what, what, uh, what girls is going up and down the turn. An hour, like that an hour and a half <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're going to be going from, they were going from <laughs> Starlets down to Onyx and Philly. We know where they're going. Yeah, up and down. And listen, I have done that at night. I've done that Philly trip in 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. You can hit that turnpike if there's no traffic at 2 a.m. You 30 if you're in a certain car. Yo, the city is going to be crazy. <laughs> Yo, if the Knicks are in the fucking Eastern Conference, the city Especially is going to be Especially against Philly? Crazy. It's going to be crazy. I just want to see, just force a game seven and anything can happen. I just want to see the strip clubs. Can we, you think that'll reactivate the strip clubs in New York? No. React- if y'all nah, win? Yeah. <laughs> no, strip clubs, the strip club culture in New York is, 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 is terrible, man. It's because, again, the bartenders look better than the dancers. And it's like dudes that come from out of town, they used to the girls that dance being the prettiest girls in the club. Like, they don't understand this waitress bartenders that are beautiful. And the, now, some of the dancers, some of the dancers are okay, but it ain't what it was 15, 10 years ago. No. And, and OnlyFans is starting to kill. The way the bartenders kill the strippers, OnlyFans is about to kill the bartenders. Yeah. These chicks are not going to Starlets for a six-hour shift for fucking $1,000. No. No. <laughs> No, they tell you my feet. They tell you they can stay, they stay at home and reply to DMs. They be like, yo, I'm not. What's that meme that goes around? They're like, um, my my <laughs> my uh my day of pampering is like at least a thousand dollars. That's that's a, that's a meme. I, I'm not in that algorithm. Some girls are saying that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, I read that shit. I said a thousand dollars for maintenance. That's tricking. I said, what are you a Ferrari? No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. That's that's. Yeah. Nah, ain't no yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is that, that's yeah, a lie. No, no a it's thousand not. Thousand dollars. Why? Why it take a thousand dollars, bro? Huh? <laughs> like what you look like that it take a thousand dollars? Yeah. It's, no, it's just the prices <laughs> have skyrocketed. The braids I have in my hair right now were three hundred and fifty dollars before tax. Damn. My eyelashes are too tax. You put cut on that shit. How much is it? What? I mean, I'm sorry. Before tip, not oh, tax. Oh. Before tip. I'm about to say this bitch is she's she, this hair braid is changing the game. Three fifty. The the eyelashes are two hundred and thirty five for a full set. The, the eyelashes are two hundred and thirty five. Not all of them. That's a rent. Not all price. of them, but a full a full set. What is like a hybrid? Thick what are, ones. You got hybrids and on? then the fucking the fills that you get every three weeks are a hundred and sixty. This hat was free. My friend, uh, M- <laughs> NBA Paint, really talented artist. Hey, shout out to him. Makeup yeah. is super expensive. Wax I know makeup is, is sixty dollars. That's just for the vagina. If you're gonna wax your legs, um, fucking laser hair removal, all of that shit. Yeah, thousand dollars is actually not that far off. And I'm just a regular person. I'm not one of the girls selling pussy on OnlyFans. I can only imagine. Ah, you in Cardi is. circle, but that's if you're selling pussy, that's an expense. You can write that off. True. No, when, you should sell thousand dollars. You shouldn't have Wait. someone else do that. You should spend that you so you sell can something. get a tax break. You should be a business like I'm a business managing. advisor no, no. for. You should be like, a business. Man. He has a business. Somebody told me that the OnlyFans chicks that have managers, <laughs> it's their manager replying 
to guys. It is. No, Probably. they have. They, could, there's a. There's, there's a farm. So many managers. It's like the yeah. same way. Um, I know a girl that, that. That's insane. Yeah, I know a girl that was doing. Like she started responding to some of them, but she did have somebody responding to most of them. It's uh, a. Yeah. I would never like my client that much. It's like how I used to do the Instagram. Can seating. you imagine if you were being a 15, dude? If you were getting, managing 15, one of those girls and. You have to reply to the guys. If you were getting twenty percent of two million a year, yes, you. Would. It's not that difficult, no. though. Yes, you would. Replying to horny men all day for two million dollars. Twenty percent. A lot of that shit's automated. Oh wait, twenty percent of two million dollars? <laughs> yeah, you got you got you got to look at dick pics all day. No, sorry, I'm sure it's not. I'll, I'll get it another way. I'll get that two hundred grand another. Way. <laughs> I, like I, I'll, I'll get it somewhere else. That shit is crazy. That because they call it the managers. Like call it with it. That's your pimp, man. How that is not your. That's virtual on, pimping. Nah, but the men, but they're the the, the managers aren't getting paid like the talent. The pimp would get all the cut. Yeah, yeah, but I, that's yeah. what I'm saying. The it's virtual. Would pay her. I mean, once you put virtual in front She's of pimping, pimping him, it's changing. It's pimping. changing everything. No, like, he's an employee. No, I mean, he's a he's a he's a he's an overseer. He's a manager. He's a you know he's just making sure like okay, this is what you got to do today. Digital. Yeah, this is what you got to do today. Get this knocked off. You got to send these pictures. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Get that done. Da da da. Yeah, sick. Yeah, but so? if, nah, that's not pimping. That's not pimping. Pimpin', that means better pimping, Rory. They're selling sex. Damn, they're not. They're not. Suck, they're not fucking. Well, the idea of sex. Yeah, that's not pimping. It's not pimping. It's marketing. Y'all think if somebody go out, that's, that's what Don Bishop Magic Wall says. <laughs> It's on what? Nothing. What? Nothing. You said, can you go on OnlyFans? That's not what the fuck I you said. You want to go on OnlyFans, That's America? not what I said. What did you say? I didn't do nothing. Nothing no, of importance. Me. Nothing of importance to the conversation. Didn't you say you were selling feet pics at one point? I never in my fucking, yo, I never in my life said I was selling feet. Would you? Why are you shaming people I, that do? Damaris is wearing Yeezys people. right now. She got anti-Semitic toes. And yeah, it's Adidas game. That's sick, you didn't. Man. You didn't say you were selling. You was. Oh, you was thinking about selling your. I said I thought about it at one point. Did you, how much? How much money have they offered you? To sell, like who's they? She yeah. like she's smiling. She got an offers. That yeah. is their business, but wow. no, it is our business. Yeah. Not, for, not, 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 for, not more than names. you guys pay me. Wait, are they in our voicemails? They probably oh in our my voicemails. God, are they in our Wait. voicemails? Because we Ma and I have not listened to any of these voicemails. For those that don't know, we have a voicemail thing that you can call in and leave us a message, and we will reply to it on air. Mm -hmm. But before we do now that, now I gotta though, know. No, hold on. But before we do <laughs> if that, they're in there asking Damaris for feet pics. <laughs> if you, I want to cut. Hey, Damaris, if, <laughs> Damaris, if you were staying at Four Seasons in a suite, right? Mm. Okay. Okay. And why was I there for business? Sure. Yeah. Like yeah. it's y'all expense. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, not our expense. Say you're on vacation. Mm. You're on vacation, and the, the manager at the hotel snuck into your room at night at the Four Seasons and mm -hmm. was like, "Yo, just let me suck on your toes. I'll comp this entire stay for you." Would you let him do it? No. That's cat. No, and this I is why. Cat. No, 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 no. No, and this is why. Because I feel like if you are insane enough to enter my room and offer to suck my feet, then you would also kill me. You would kill me and take my. Don't put that you. on foot fetish, people. It's not about having no, a foot fetish. You can have a foot. <laughs> if you can have a foot fetish, it's the way you handle. Yeah. the foot fetish. You mean that man looks like he'd kill someone? Look at him. He looks harmless. No, he I looks would, harmless. Me and my fucking toes would be dead. Nah, maybe he likes. He looks like he genuinely just want to suck your toes and then. No, he looked like he would collect. Genuinely want to suck toes. He looks like he collects toes. toes. Yeah, he looks like he just want to go suck some toes and then go downstairs and just like hit the delete like the yeah. comp button on your your stay at the hotel. Maybe have coffee after that. Nah, I'm send good. you in the continental because then you sucking everybody's toes. So what if you got athlete foot tongue, athlete tongue, and Have, then you suck my. He toes. was also sucking on man's toes. Is that hip hop mall? That my friend is not <laughs> hip hop. This is where I want my flowers at the end of the episode. Okay, go for it. In London, I, I tried to tell you all these hotel night managers are creepy, and you guys thought I was being a bully when I asked him when he wouldn't leave me alone and kept coming Who to Who thought you were being a bully? Are you trying to suck my dick? Like, why do you keep coming to my room? Who's well, trying to suck your toe? Well, well, he was coming to your room because you were jamming. <laughs> jamming is so funny. Okay. <laughs> you was having a fiesta. And we're not going to have to repeat the whole thing, but the first time, he was legitimately right. Yeah. And then after that, I felt like he was waiting for the party to die down so he could shoot his shot. He came when it was dead quiet. Oh, okay. oh you thought he was trying to fuck. I said that to him because he kept coming. I said, yo, you trying to fuck me? Like, get away from my hotel room. Stop that probably knocking on my door. On. Somebody came up to me. That so I was he definitely to beat, was it he this definitely gentleman? beat himself. Yeah. Can you look no. at that face? You remember that face? That's a face you can't forget right there. He definitely jerked off. No, I, don't, I don't think I would be his type. Yeah, no. Nah, he looks like he <laughs> likes like... Like uh, Maul's toes. Yeah, definitely your toes. 
definitely not my toes. He probably thinks he's progressive. But that's all right. But I call cap with this whole shit. You can't. Somebody can't sneak in your room. Uh, first of all, in a hotel. Well, he's a manager. manager. He's got, he's got the, key. the key. But you still hear somebody coming in your room. Not, not I'm you curious. Really you know, not everybody I see with can rain hear noises. That? Like, yeah, I could. Fam, if somebody walks into your hotel room, you can't hear them walking you into the hotel room? You think he's stomping the yard or do you think he, yeah. he's telling yeah. you the fucking tulips? He, like, he's been thinking about this for months. You planning. can't hear your hotel room door soon as somebody putting the key in it? No. Some people be knocked I the hit, fuck yo, out. I don't, any room sleep? Any hotel I'm in. Any room sleep. As soon as that key right, goes in the door, I hear it. When we like, go to LA, you get the big ass suite. Your bed is nowhere near the yeah, front door. Yeah, the bed door. is not anywhere near the You're not going to hear can, shit. And I'm... Are you crazy? There's like that double door that closes. You can sound, you won't hear that. We don't all First have the all, heater under the that door. But you can. Yeah, but I don't. Right, you funny. can't hear the housekeeping when they put the key in the door. When they, like if you didn't well, hear them knock. If it's a touch thing. If I don't hear them knock, I hear that key on the thing. He's Immediately. And I'm like, come back and like, oh. What are you, Bobbly Swagger? Like you, like in the middle of your sleep, you have, you just hear everything. Yeah, you hear that. I can hear <laughs> somebody's trying to enter a room while I'm sleeping. Absolutely. Well, You're a, a lot Navy of people, SEAL. Okay, well, Ma, let me, <laughs> let me let you know. A lot of people, when they're in their Dead sleep, they can't hear that. Well, you niggas need to wake up in your sleep. <laughs> no. That's what yeah. <laughs> it's important to, to get around. You niggas need to wake up and you Wait, gotta, can you wake up in your sleep? Huh? Yeah. Like can when you, you go to bed, dead? Sleep? Yeah. Well, then, Do you wake up that first You can't wake, wake up, up in like, your sleep. You can't wake up in your sleep because you're asleep. Yes, you can't wake up. Y'all, y'all never been sleeping and you talking about up? a dream? Yeah. <laughs> you never woke up in your sleep, but you wasn't like up in real life yet? Nigga. <laughs> Like you wasn't never like dreaming that you would sleep and woke up from like dreaming. Yo, imagine you think you're fighting your sleep paralysis demon and it's just this nigga trying to sleep. That's, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> that's cat, man. No, nobody's the, sleeping. The fact, the fact that I'm not looked at as a trauma victim, pretty much what this guy did in this one night he to this person happens to me twice to three times a week with my sleep paralysis. First, uh, yo, it's the same thing. Nobody, this is cat, man. Nobody can't sneak in your room while you sleep and just start sucking your toes. Well, you, no, you, you, that's not possible. You can't tell me that you sleep where somebody can sneak into your crib and get all the way into your bedroom and move the blanket. The hotel room it's, is a bedroom. But I mean, well, you just said, depending on the type of hotel room you have, you could have a living room and a bedroom, dick. <laughs> so then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah Brokey. Yeah, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> every, you act like yeah. the bed as soon as you're go doing three doors to get no. to his bedroom. I, it was at a Hilton in Nashville. <laughs> Uh, definitely well, one room. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that was a, that yeah. Was a studio. That By the way, I'm still saying in one room. Unit. I may not hear that, bro. You can't. It's, it, how how are y'all not. sleeping? You can't feel somebody walking in the room while you sleeping. Y'all don't no. feel that. My, I feel the energy I didn't get that because I'm spiritual. Yo, but, you don't feel that. Like, like if you wh- sleep and somebody's walking. Right <laughs> like, it's like, you just gonna let her get. You just gonna let her get that off. What she said. You really just gonna let her get that off. What did she say? Say it again. I said I feel the energy because I'm spiritual. <laughs> yeah, nah, I feel you. Yeah, nah, I, I think yeah, like when you when you, yeah. when you when you when you lay it out there like that, that's almost yeah. like yo, it's niggas seven now with mad dick. Like, what yeah, is dicks is still working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mad dick still working. Whatever yeah. you just said, like that. Isaac and Abraham woke her up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 79 year old dick still work. Ma, <laughs> right. what do you, Yo, if it's in God's you, plan. You just said you can feel it even if you don't hear it. What do you think you're feeling? Hey, yo. I mean, it's definitely, breath. it's definitely energy. Like, yeah. you can just feel when another energy is in the room for sure. Like, exactly. I feel that shit. Like, I feel I, when somebody, the same way you can feel when somebody's staring at you. Like, I you think I'm like it. half like dog. Fam. <laughs> like, you know what? Nah, 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 Rory. Fam. That's what I'm saying. You know when dogs know when somebody's at the door, even if you don't hear them? Nah, that's you. Yeah, that's me. I, I can, think you full dog. I don't I think you feel, have I can feel when somebody's outside the door. Like, I can feel that shit. Oh, so he's dog, you're cat. Yeah. Wow. That's not funny. Cat dog. Cat dog. No, I know. I can feel that I, shit. I, 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 <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I think it's cat to say somebody walked in a hotel room and just started <laughs> slipping toes. Rory is Garfield. <laughs> I like spaghetti. It's, it's lasagna. lasagna food. Damn. Oh. <laughs> 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 no, nah, it's the same shit when you think about it. Like spaghetti and lasagna is like, like, like lasagna. Like spaghetti is just lasagna that was put in a neutral bullet. That's all it is. Like, that's all it was. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, it's just flat spaghetti. Yeah, that's just, uh, it's just you know, it's spaghetti that was put in the twister. I get it. Okay, should we do this new segment? Let's do this new segment. So we have this Yo. voicemail thing set up now on our Patreon. Thank you uh, for subscribing. Uh, if the Amazon guy was just here and you had no intuition. <laughs> 
Who? You didn't know the Amazon guy was outside just now. That's why I can't believe you just said you like the dog that could tell when someone's at the door. Minutes he was out no, the, the Amazon person. guy just like literally 30 minutes I'm ago was talking. outside for an hour. <laughs> and he was buzzing up. And you ain't here. Uh, that, 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 that buzzer never <laughs> ran. Your ears didn't perk up. That buzzer, that buzzer didn't <laughs> ring. We was all, yeah, but you got that sonar me, dog me, ear. Nah, me, me, Rory, and Yomi was sitting here. That, that buzzer did not ring. Now, if he was at one of these doors right here, I definitely would have been like, oh, he was in the studio? <laughs> no, like the exit door right there. I would have knew somebody was standing there, bro. I'm telling you, I got oh, that. I got that okay. shit with me. Don't worry about you it. You got ESPN? You got that yeah. dog in him. Uh, I got that dog in me. Um, so, so we created this uh, voicemail uh, thing. Uh, what is it? Speak, speak pipe? Yeah, yeah. So Pause. I'm super happy. That's what it's called. Speak pipe. The rules of this are- Pausing them, not you. You call into our, you, you subscribe to our Patreon, first step. Yes, Once sir. you're on the Patreon, you will have access to this link where you can click the link, leave us a voicemail where you can ask us about advice on your love life, work life, anything personal that you may not be comfortable talking about with anyone else, or like asking us if something is hip hop. We'll, I'll go through the audio. We'll play two to three, depending on time's sake, uh, on the actual episode that comes out on Tuesdays and Fridays. So okay. if you want to hear your voice on the pod, please subscribe to our Patreon and we now, will read your is- message and answer your questions. Yeah, subscribe to the Patreon and leave a message on SpeakPipe if you wish to leave us a message, and we will play some of them and respond to some of them. Now, um, we've been getting a bunch of these. There's a few in there that's a little, a bit much, um, but we're going to answer some that are, we feel like the viewers would enjoy. Yeah. And I've here. only heard one of them. And for the record, you guys have yeah. Heard way more than me. I haven't shared. No, I haven't shared. None of you have this login. I haven't shared it with anyone on the team. So these are all real live reactions. And how many did you send to Damaris that were feet picked requests? <laughs> yeah, if you want to see my feet, leave a voicemail. No, no, no just no, subscribe to Patreon. Not. There's yeah. no extra feet. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Just, <laughs> subscribe to Patreon, you get her feet. Yo, leave a voicemail <laughs> if you want to see my feet. What? You got the audio? Mm-hmm. All right, here's the first one. Yo, Rory oh Maul in the gang. What's up with y'all? How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing groovy. I need some real nigga relationship advice, though. And yes, Rory, you're included. You are a real nigga, even though you're not a nigga. But anyway, <laughs> how do I let go of this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Me and my shorty ain't rocking no more. She ain't my shorty no more. And I just need to know how do I get her out of my mind? How do I get her out of my space, out of sight, out of mind, whatever you want to call it? You feel me? I don't need that energy no more. I got too much going on and I'm trying to focus. So how do I let go? Okay. Um, I'm calling Cap that you got too much going on. Well, he said out of his space. So I'm, when he says, okay. do they still live together? Is that No, I meant? think he probably stalking her. He's, he's probably Damn, stalking dude. her? Mm-hmm. Well, he put, said he what? can't let her go. Why'd you put that on her? So no, that, me. I mean, that, that's a fair assessment because he said he can't let, let her, her go. go. Yeah. He can't seem to stop thinking about her. He can't seem to get over her. Um, Been there. The only way to truly, truly get past someone is to fuck another person. Get yep. a new one. Yeah, yeah. get another one. Mm. Nah, and maybe, yeah. uh, maybe a bunch. Yeah, throw Just that one away. Go out there, be a hoe. Get the new model. Well, it's so funny. At one point, I, I like thought I was a mature person and thought that was terrible advice. No. The older I've gotten, that is by far the best advice. To be a hoe? You, when you're trying to get over a girl as a man, speaking for men. Yeah, just men. Speak for you. Just, 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 just throw a condom on and go fucking nuts, bro. I don't like, like that first Like, you just part. gotta, yeah. Get, but, get your mind but off. But then it. what happens now when when after you have sex and you come and then you're in the shower and then reality starts to hit you as the suds are in your hair and running mm-hmm. down your shoulders. You hit the mm-hmm. next now you realize you're still the same empty, lonely soul that wants to know if she's out giving that next guy the same head she used to give you. And that's like when you go, that's why when you go back to last lap and then just find another one. <laughs> rinse, rinse and repeat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That feeling starts to come. Yeah. You do that until mm. you find until a girl you, that's actually going to fill that you hole lose all in your heart. Yeah. yeah. He also didn't tell us how long they were together, which I found interesting. So is Long this enough. one of those like they're on and off? Were they the, the long time relationship? We or, don't know. Was it even how real? long it was? Maybe it was a situation. Well, he just wants to know how he can get over. So the 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 quick answer to that would be just go out and start dating different women or men. I don't know. You know, try that. Maybe that'll work for you. Demaris, what do you think? Me? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I ain't the one to answer that. Why not? Right. None of my exes can get over uh, like, me. As either. a woman, what would you tell other women how wait, to get rid of them? What? Wait, what? Oh, here yeah. she goes. None of your exes can get over you. It's a nigga that's way over you out oh, here. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. So we're not doing that. Don't just say, yeah, like, but it took Yo. him a long time, so I don't want to give him advice. No, yeah, what? but I mean, it would be nice for a woman. You don't want to give women. Wait, the other guy or this guy? No, him. Oh, pff. I'm talking about for women. How do you get over, how do you get over a guy or a girl, whatever, quick? 
You I, s- they don't. <laughs> You start accepting some of them DMs. No, the real answer is for women. Just women usually we just go get another degree or another job or another skill or like we make our time get busy. A degree. Yeah. That's women not true. they'll None go add women. another title. Women will go do that. Women will go back to school. Oh, like put uh distract themselves. Okay. From, okay, gotcha. From heartache. Yeah, that's yeah. what women do. Get busy. You uh, are giving women way too much. Uh, no, a lot of women go <laughs> home, just, but that's not the way to do it. Like put public means. figure in their bio. That's yeah. the no, title. Or, or they, you know, become an like Amazon. Influence. Most of them do. Ninety percent of them go to the gym, go hard. That's yeah, cool. go hard. Start trying shape. to look better. That's kind of what I do when I'm like in that. I'll, I'll lift. I like need to be moving <laughs> physically to. Why are you laughing? Get over heartache. Not even heartache. Like if I just need to clear my head, that's not even like a love thing only. That's like if I just need to clear my head in general, just like sweat, lift, just, just beat off, it. just go out there and just <sighs> the wall. Just mm. Fuck that bitch. Lift <laughs> and then never throw. That's my how fist. you think Julian be working out. Gotcha. Um, yeah. I mean, if you still want to be with her uh, and you're into manipulation, I don't know. Go to therapy and pretend like you changed. Mm. Mm. That's a good one. That's, that's fake healing. That's that's. that's, that's I've that's seen men do that plenty of times. If yeah. you want to stay with a girl, yeah. like, yo, how do I finally change? I'm working like, on me. I'm going to therapy with you. you mm. Yo, you changed my life. Yeah. If it wasn't for you and my mistakes, yeah. we wouldn't be here now. That's a good one. That's, I never, that's, never, that's yeah, a good one. When you really make a man better, he just go, like, get a new bitch. And or a better bitch. That doesn't have, oh, there you go. That doesn't <laughs> have the fucking danger. I mean, that doesn't have the damage that he already did to her. Like, he'll danger. fuck you up and be like, yo, you really changed my life for the better. I'm so much no. better now. Good looks. And then go <laughs> to the next bitch. <laughs> we would no. never. My bad, dog. I ain't even mean it. Good looks. We'd never do that. <laughs> Ever. All right. Well, we hope that helps. Should we try another one? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Is that what Fab and Neil were talking about? <laughs> okay, let's do another one. What's up, guys? This is Tyler from Georgia. Is this hip hop? Me and my friends went to the movies, and as we was leaving, one of the guys told everybody good night. <laughs> Ma, I feel like that's up your alley. Yeah. This ISO. This is just a yeah. mall question. I only, I, I only have one question. So to answer that question, that's definitely not hip hop. What? You can't tell a homie's good night. What was bro. the movie? I don't. It don't matter. That what is a great question. Was. What you was, can't tell. Yo, good night. What if it was like the Avengers? Why not? Shit? What if it was a midnight showing? Yeah. I don't, have we ever told each other good night? We've let, literally <laughs> never said good night. <laughs> like, think about that. I, I don't think I've ever no. told a man good night. You just go. Rory, All right, bro. Went, you went looking in y'all text thread for a good night. No. You I'm think not. I text Rory good night before? <laughs> let I me was, look. I was trying to good remember night. <laughs> I was trying yo. to remember which uh, disc it was. Disc one or two of Life After Death. It can be hip hop. One of my favorite Biggie songs is Last Kiss Goodnight. Okay. It's hip hop. Last Kiss or Long Kiss Goodnight? Either way. Still gay, but. <laughs> yeah, but that's, kiss long Kiss Goodnight is, is killing somebody. Long oh, Kiss is a lot. Yeah, but like it was a metaphor for saying goodnight to his homies from the movie. Yeah, it's killing the night. So what would you say to give this guy, a gentleman something to tell No, that's friend? not. Instead, what so would you when say? So you, when you hanging out with the bros. Mm-hmm. Um, you, Julian, and you Rory just left. A you movie. don't say goodnight. We say yo, peace later. Or are you just jealous because you've been you going about, to movies? You've been going to movies solo now, so like you, you don't have anyone to say goodnight. Say now. Don't say like oh, this is like an every Wednesday thing. Just last two times, twice. Yeah, twice. That's twice. I'm, I'm a big get home safe guy. Get home safe. Yeah, okay. I say that to people. I, yeah. Yo, stay dangerous. I've stay never. dangerous. <laughs> That's the thing. That we, look, men don't even know what to tell each other. Yeah. Like, good night seems so much simpler now, right? Yo, stay yeah, dangerous. Stay. Why are you telling me to stay dangerous? I'm just going home. Um... <laughs> No, that's not hip hop though. You can't tell your homies good night. You can and say you can't tell Julian that when he's scared of guns. Yeah, you can say it's hard to stay dangerous. <laughs> what does that have to do with me being afraid of guns? Because you can't stay dangerous. Julian stay oh, dangerous. No. Just drinking three like coronas and like driving. Like that's <laughs> that's just staying dangerous. Wear a seatbelt. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you can't tell a homies good night. Uh you say peace later. Sometimes you just leave and don't say shit. That's always a good one. Uh, but that's not hip hop. You can't tell men can't tell each other good night. My favorite is like, all right. Yeah. yeah. Hit me. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Like, men don't, men don't know how to say bye. Word. We don't know yeah. how to say bye to each other. It's All like, right. yo, we just do some weird shit with our hands. And yeah, me too, man. Just walk away. So. All right, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start saying goodnight to y'all. Thank you. Can I no, when he means y'all, he means like y'all. Don't just y'all me and Damaris? Yeah, like, don't tell me. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say goodnight to you at 3 p.m. No, please. Mom, when we were rooting oh, to Mexico, fighting? we didn't we didn't say goodnight to each other? And then I will kill you in my bed. You <laughs> know damn well I never told you good night. Before he fell asleep, when you are not roommates in Mexico, yo, I would, you didn't say sweet dreams. Yo, I would literally <laughs> choke. And, and definitely tried to suck your toes. And then I would choke. Hundred <laughs> percent. And then I would choke you until and, you and are no dream catcher above his bed. I, I will choke you until you are no longer with me. Stop playing with me like that. 
I hated every moment of sharing a room with Why? Ed. It was I bad hated chill. That shit. I hated it. You guys did your prayers together? Fuck out of here. Ed was, yo, he's, yo, he's snoring. You can't. He snores Oh so my loud. God. Yo, his snoring is crazy. I'm like, I cannot believe I thought you, you, not, I thought you I thought you would hear. Oh, yeah, you do hear everything. You're right. I had I had no choice. But dog ears, I heard it from the other side of the house. <laughs> like, dog what ears. the fuck? I never told Ed a good night. Probably right. stood over him with the fucking Should we do another one? Let's do yes, one more, Joe. And I, but men should say good night to each other. Yeah. yeah. I like you. And even if you don't want to go that far, the stay safe, get home safe is yeah. good. Even if you just say I love you, you don't got to say good night. Just say I love you. <laughs> but if you say I love you, you got to say bro. No, not even on no gay shit. You never know what the next time you're going to see somebody. Yeah, but you got to say bro at the end or man. Yeah, I love you, bro. Yeah, like fan. I want men to say that more. Not just I love you. No, nah, you can't put the I. Yeah, I love you, bro. Love that's you, dope. I love think that's cool. dope. Niggas love will say you? love you, but won't say good night. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said, I, I, I told like my, my friends love you before. Yeah. Yeah, but now I'm saying, I like, leaving the movie, though, love you, bro. Stay dangerous. Yeah. That's you don't got to throw the stay dangerous. <laughs> yeah, like, the marriage. Because that's how men talk. Am that's I not, lying? Yo, you, you are. I've never stay told none of my friends stay dangerous. Like, it's like a about? YG single. <laughs> like, this is that. <laughs> stay dangerous. No. Oh, yeah, the, uh, I mean, the only real advice you've given to anyone going through something is the most. Yo, keep, keep your head up. Yeah. That's how you got to do it. It could be worse. Toes, toes it could be floor. worse. It could be worse. Keep your head up. It could be worse, dog. Keep your head up. Keep fighting. All right, last one. Last one. What's well, up? This is Kobe from St. Martinville, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Big shout out to everybody on the New Rory and Mall podcast, especially like Baby D Sexy Ass. But I was calling in or leaving a voicemail to ask, how do you cut off people who you feel no longer serve a purpose in your life, but you still have love for them? That's a good question. How do you cut off people you think no longer have any type of service to your life, but you but still, you still love have love for them? Um, <clears throat> that's where you just try to post those like "love you from a distance" memes and hope they get get the point. That's <laughs> Stop texting you. Um, but, he basically just said, "Yo, I don't fuck with you." LOL. Yeah, right? yeah. Still have much. love for them was the LOL. Um, I think that well, first of all, address why you feel like they no longer serve any purpose to your life. Uh, something had to happen uh, for you to, to to feel that way. So I think you have that conversation and I think that conversation leads to, you know, other things and more honest talk and you can kind of figure out what's going on and, you know, but I, when you say no longer have any type of serve, serve any purpose to your life, I don't, what like, what, what can be an example of that? Yeah, that is a little weird. If you love somebody, I can see not being on the exact same page as them and you're two different people than you once was and it doesn't yeah. work. I get that. But to serve no purpose in your life kind of makes like the love transactional in that type of way. Yeah. Um, but if it is a case where you've just outgrown this person, you still love them. Because I think that's what he was trying to say. Okay. I think I could be wrong. Or well, when he could, you outgrown or he could people, just be like, yo, I can't use this person no more. Yeah. Like that's why I was like, I don't, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I think what he was trying to say is I've outgrown this person. Like the things that this person is into, I'm no longer we into have, that. We, we're not. We're nothing growing up. We're kind of growing in different directions, growing apart. It, yeah, I mean, cliche. Should, just have that conversation. Just have that talk. It, sh- it should never be a difficult one, especially if you have love for them. It's just like, yo, listen, man, the things that you into, you know, I'm not really into that. I'm not really trying to hang out and just go to the club every night and do this, the shit we was doing, you know, while we were younger. Like, we got to grow up. We got to get our shit together. We got to start some businesses, open some, you know, do some shit to to hand down to, you know, the, the next ones coming up. But uh, yeah, just have that conversation, man, because it happens. You know, you, you you can't keep doing the same shit y'all was doing when y'all was kids and. You know, you would like to say day ones and all of that. Like, but sometimes your day ones don't want to grow. They don't want to evolve. And, you know, don't try to dim your light because you feel like you want to, you're into different things and you want to try different things and experience different shit. Mm. But also be And so- you attract people that are into the things that you're into. Like, you know, I, know, I noticed that a lot of the times too. Like you jump into different things that you like and then you like start developing a circle within that type of shit. So. And be self-aware too. Like. Just because maybe you caught like one week of not going to the club and you want to judge your club friends, like, don't be that guy. Yeah, like, oh, y'all still on that? So you <laughs> like, was just with us. Yeah, like, don't, don't be that girl that's been, yeah. that was been the single hoe forever and then gets one boyfriend. It's like, I can't even be around them bitches anymore. Yeah, like, like <laughs> just in a different we don't relate. lane now. Yeah, we don't relate. Which, You'll be back. Which is fine you. if that happens. That's like, crazy. Don't, anytime you're doing the outgrow conversation, it's the arrogance that fucks that up. Yeah. Because everyone knows they can be outgrown too. It's not a, an offensive thing. Yeah. So just be honest with them in a very humble way if you love them and move the fuck forward. Right. My advice is from what I've seen is there's really no need to even have a conversation and tell somebody that you're outgrowing them. Just 
every when you talk to them, yo, I love you. But you, you don't call them; they won't call you. Y'all both will grow in your separate spaces. Just make sure that I love you is what comes out. Or like, just leave the movie, say good night, and then never talk to them again. That's mm. it. Just tie, tie all these in together. They're like, let me know when you get home, but they don't yeah. tell you when they got home. Right. On your way to go, and you fuck never hear the new bitch. The new bitch. Help yeah. you get over your old bitch. Like I'm on to Damaris's feet pics now. I'm, I've outgrown you. Okay. Yeah. And your dick's still working with the guy that first is trying to get over his girl. <laughs> Edit what? <laughs> what? Sorry. We were just tying together the whole I was trying to. Nah, but oh. don't. And then 30 <laughs> years, yeah. 30 years just later, don't, do it. Do it. Just don't, don't take the DNA test. Don't. That's not There you go. Time. See? Mm. All right. You well, think you got you think you have a son in like Virginia or something? For sure at the at VSU. Nah. A daughter? Nah. You definitely have a kid, mom. You got a they them running around somewhere. Nah, man. Never. <laughs> how, well, how would you know though? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, yeah, you don't know until you know, but I, I, I'm I, 99% sure I don't. I'm not in contact with every person I've ever slept with. Neither am Roy, I. What percentage are you sure? He said 99. Oh, I don't know. That, that Palooza tour went, went kind of crazy. <laughs> well, a Joking. Lot of, the, the thing with me is if I had, if I ever was having sex with a girl that I didn't use a condom with, we were cool for like a while after we stopped fucking. So I would know she had a baby. Like, right. I don't know how you just lose touch with girls and just like and that you smashed raw and just it's like. Huh. You mm. niggas is living. You niggas Surprise. see that's what I, that's what that's what surprises me. Y'all can hit a girl raw that y'all don't know, but y'all can't hear a nigga coming into the room to suck your toes. You niggas is crazy. Like I, y'all can't see that. I don't see the correlation at all. Uh, I don't get. It. I'm fucking. And, one. and clearly we're cla- uh, we're uh, careless. So yeah. <laughs> see, yeah, but I mean, you 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 like you're risking. You're being that risky to like fuck with a girl you don't know. <laughs> yeah, so what makes you think we're thinking about the door opening? <laughs> No, but you we're raw you, dogging someone we don't know with no, the possibility usually, of an S T D or that, of a child. You, usually if you are willing to do that, I would think that you are using some type of like discretion. Double lock? Le- no, like some type of some type of discretion uh, yeah, the, with like venting the girl. Like you're kinda like the analyzing the situation you a little think bit. These two sick motherfuckers throughout their life was vetting the bitches that yeah, we Yeah, those two whoa, sick motherfuckers. Have you met yeah. them? Eden's right here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I whoa, think so. Whoa. I think I think I think that men, if they're sleeping with a girl with no kind, I think they've done something. Yeah, that's not a question. Like, What's your sign? That's all I really need. Like y'all, you kind of <laughs> checked out. You've kind of Yeah, he went on her Instagram. I've vetted, but there's definitely been times that I didn't. Vet, I was at the lower totem pole of vet. <laughs> like when you wake up and don't know their name, <laughs> like All right, you vetted. Like I had like maybe just one cosine of someone being like, "Nah, it's cool. You could, you could do that." Nah, she bad, bro. <laughs> and the person was probably like Carl. Like, <laughs> like I knew one of her homegirls, and they were like, "Yeah, no, nah, you good." And but she said it at a really high pitch. But yeah, nah. You know. <laughs> Let me ask. You, so she, would, she wasn't having an outbreak at yeah. the time. And then I woke up with, at, with a round of applause. Boy, did that burn. Yo, dudes are wow. crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, like, the more I just think about men, we are actually crazy. Yeah, we're sick as fuck. As fuck. Yeah. We are crazy. Yeah, we're pretty oh, sick. Oh, I'm going to get misogynist. I agree we're sick and disgusting. But, but if I'm raw but, dogging, that's going inside you. That's, oh, that's your body. Oh, don't start with the key and the oh, fucking yes, keyhole fucking argument. Don't oh, no, start I think it's, I think it's I think it's 50-50. <laughs> no, you I definitely think it's told 50-50. Your, 50-50. You told yourself that before. Patrice O'Neal has a great joke about that. He was like, he does. I was be on the road. Fucking girls. He's like, I just don't know this girl's name. I was fucking her raw. And it's like, right before I go in, he's like, you dirty bitch. It's like, you're doing the same thing. Like, he just putting it all the onus on her. I, I'm not, I'm putting the onus on both sides. I'm just saying it's a little crazy <laughs> that it's like inside you though. Like it's a gaping like hole. All right. I think uh, it's a little, <laughs> yeah, but I think it's, I think it's crazy. <laughs> it's like Narnia. Yeah, but I also it, think it's crazy that actually. you would enter a gaping hole. With 100% no protection. Narnia. <laughs> You're entering a gaping hole. Yeah. You don't know what's on the other end of that thing. 100%. But I could also drive away from Trenton and for 30 years never have to think about that problem again. All right. So, um, listen, man, we're about to wrap this up. Got to go make sure that the... Uh, the Knicks are getting ready to win game six. That's your job. You have to text Julie. Yeah, I know. No, we, 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 we text Please And don't, don't give him, him yeah. Don't, don't give him the Burt Wayne. Oh, y'all don't want to hear what I told no. him last night. No, you told what, the game. What you, what you said? Told? I didn't tell him that. <laughs> Thank you. That's you, why, nah, I know that's why they won. I know what you said. Leave Julie's nah. the fuck alone. You said goodnight. What's that shit you said the other game that they lost? He said, be legendary. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, be a, go be a legend. Go be a legend. He said some shit like that. Go be a legend. Yeah. He's on some his way. Terrible. Look, he's on his way. Tagline for like a sports energy He's drink. on his way. Be look, legendary. Hey, they won game. Look, they won game five. So listen, man, it's working. Um, but yeah, let's get out of here, man. Have a good weekend. Hope y'all have fun. We have fun talking to y'all. Have fun kicking with y'all. We'll be back in a couple of days. Rory's dropping an empty red cup. It's a small one. Yeah, that's why it didn't sound. It sounded like a cotton ball hitting the floor. <laughs> 
Um, we'll be back in a couple days to kick it with y'all. Y'all be safe. I'm that nigga. He's just ginger. Peace.